Welcome to the channel and welcome back to Isman 3 for this massive Horus Heresy game between World Eaters and Emperor's Children. The virus bombs have dropped and the planet is burning. Tens of thousands of legionaries have died and the traitors are making their way to the presenter's palace. Today I'll be in charge of traitor Empress children led by Lord Commander Eidolon as he's seeking to take these crossroads here in this Horus Heresy game, War of Lies. The crossroads is only one click away from the presenter's palace and a loyalist world eaters force is of rushing to stop uh, Eidolon. Most of the world eaters forces are mounted or in transports and in War of Lies, there are five objectives down on the table. You can see we've put one at each edge of the crossroads and this will count as an objective as well. If you're in base contact with it, with an objective secured unit or in Horus Heresy, those are called line units. You can score it. And in Horus Heresy, everything that's not a vehicle, pretty much everything that's not a vehicle counts as a denial unit. And the way this works is, I think it goes on for six turns. You get a point for everything you kill. So we're going to be trying to kill each other, absolutely slaughter each other. You get a point for killing the warlord, and then it's a war of lies. Which of these avenues is actually vital? It's a random dice roll at the end of the game, and the objectives can either be worth zero points, three points, or just one. And I have to say I love war of lies. It's so swingy, you have no idea who's won until the very end of the game. Big shout out to the scenery. Uh, we've got battle map from overmats.com and obviously this is a games workshop thing, but all this gorgeous scenery that you see in front of you, the statues and the buildings and things, and uh, the tank traps are from marchofwar.co.uk. And talking about marchofwar.co.uk, say hi James from marchofwar.co.uk. Hi James from marchofwar.co.uk. Welcome back. Hi, glad to be back. What's the secret project that you're working on now? Tell everyone. Super secret project is the new terrain, the new buildings, the new ruins. We're going back to being modular. Right. And I'm going for them to be infinitely stackable so we can make some huge terrain features. Ooh. Some m m m massive terrain features. I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very excited to see what you come up with. I'm excited to see what I come up with as well. <laughs> And we're playing 4,000... How many points? 4,000... 4, 4,545. Why? Why? Because that's exactly what you had, and you said, I've got 4,545, and Painted. do you know what I've got? I've got a few other bits down there as well, but they won't fit in no, the but, detachment. And I managed to get mine in the detachment at exactly the same points as Did you. Did you really? Exactly the same nice. points. I don't know how I managed it. How many points have you got? 4,545. No, painted like oh, I've got. I'm not quite at 20k yet, nearly heading that way. When I've, <sighs> I've got a load of vehicles that I'm doing at the moment, which is actually going to push me up to about 24,000 when they're all when, done. When, when, is, when is too many? Is 20,000 too many? Well, the problem is I want a loyalist force next, but I can't do another loyalist force as big as this You're one. You're loyalist today, though. I am loyalist today, yes. This is my loyalist <laughs> force. <laughs> there you go, I have a loyalist force. Okay, so this is 4,500 points worth of Emperor's Children. It's a single detachment. I haven't used the Right of War because I've got three HQs, three heavies, four elites, three troops. There's no fast attack. It's, yeah, I couldn't bring a Right of War and bring all this stuff and things. But uh, as I am traitors, I can use some of the sonic weapons, some of the surgical upgrades. So the warlord for my army is the very cool Lord Commander Eidolon. His thunder hammer there is non-unwieldy on the charge, so he can hit at initiative five. And he has sonic shriek shriekers. So the idea is he goes in a unit like that, you see, James. You're yeah, watching this. Watching. And when that unit charges or is charged, they're minus one to hit. And they're weapon skill five already. So if you would be hitting them on four, instead of hitting them on fives, if your weapon skill four versus five, you'd be hitting them on fives. Minus one to hit, you'd be hitting them on sixes on charge. Or char and then I've got a Praetor with a Mastercrafted Phoenix Rapier. He's going to go in that one. And because you're traitors, you can pay for the upgrade, you see. So he's got the Sonic Shriekers as well. Basically, they'll be minus one to hit when you go charging in there, or I charge in because of these two characters here, yeah. right? And then I paid for Sonic Lancers on both of these units. What do they do? Each of them shoots out a flamer template, okay? Yeah. Now, these are only strength two. So anything toughness six or higher, I'm not wounding. Yeah. So Space Marine strength two versus toughness four. Normally, you need six, you need sixes to wound, right? But sixes to wound breach and pin. 
Right. So uh, if you do get any wounds through with the Sonic Shriekers, it will go straight through your armour. Nice. And there's a chance to pin. But I know you've got like the Berserk Fury Assault yeah, Squad. You have got a Right of War, which is plus one against pinning tests. Yeah. So it might not pin you, but... But it, it might pin somewhere. It might, it might pin somewhere, yeah. So those are Sonic Shriekers on the characters. They've got Sonic Lances, and that's a unit of ten... Phoenix Blade Terminators. They're an elite choice. Um, so what I've done is take them as a retinue for Eidolon. So they're not an elite choice anymore. So I could get more elites. And they're an elite choice. They're the uh, Palantine Blade Forge. What they're gorgeous they're models. Pretty, so pretty. Talking about Forge World models. Now these things, the Cacophony, are gorgeous models. But they were awful to paint and put together. <laughs> these need an upgrade. They're an old kit now, aren't they? They're only one wound, but they're fearless. Right, okay. And they've got Sonic Shriekers as well. So when you charge them or they charge you, um, uh, they have a chance to pin as well. Uh, and they're Shell Shock minus one pinning. So minus one, but then you've got the plus one. So they have a chance to pin. They are an old kit. Uh, only one wound, fearless, which means they can't trowel or anything. They just take their stand there and take it. Uh, but they're not heavy weapons. And they've got 36 inch range. So what you can do is you can put them in a Rhino, which has got a 14 inch move. So suddenly you've, and each of those is three shots. So that's 30 shots. Unfortunately, they get hot. Okay. So the way to play them is normally an apothecary. Yeah. But I don't have an elite, enough elite slots for apothecary. So these guys, their weapons are going to blow up in their hands all the time. <laughs> They're learning about it. This is the early days it's of a, the it's company. It, they exactly. didn't care. It's his fan three. They haven't got used to the tech next exactly. yet. Yeah, they've just Lucy. Uh, sorry, Fabius Barlas just got hold of them and said, "Hey, try this stuff out. Don't worry, it won't blow your heads off. It will definitely blow your heads off." Let me put this speaker in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, idle on as well. His warlord trait. What he does is he picks one of your HQ units as a rival, and he can only react against your rival and the unit he joins. Okay. But it's a free reaction once per turn, every turn. So free advance and free whatever. He gets free reactions because in Horus Heresy, there's a reaction you can do in the movement phase, reaction you can do in the shooting phase, reaction you can do in the assault phase. It's a bit like stratagems, but everyone's got access to the same thing. He gets an extra one for him and the unit that he's joined versus your rival, you, the rival unit. Yep. He's also got plus one to hit the rival unit. Yep. So he's, he's a snarky old beans, is old, old idol on. He really, really wants to kill your dude. So that's what happens with all my HQs. I don't think I've even mentioned yet that Emperor's children get plus one initiative on the charge. That's their thing. And in games of Horus Heresy, you fight in initiative order, not who charges who. It's whoever's got the highest initiative. So, for example, Primarchs have really high initiatives. And in all combats, unless they're against other Primarchs, they typically always fight first. And Space Marines are all initiative four. So they typically fight around the same time. But Emperor's children, if they go charging in... Initiative five. Yeah. Praetors, if they go charging in, initiative six. These guys with their spears, if they go charging in, initiative six. So yeah. the Empress Children thing is fighting first and killing stuff before it kills me, as opposed to World Eaters, which are just good at killing all round. Or dying, <laughs> either or. <laughs> yes. I've got an Armistos here. He's a console upgrade with his little iPad. And what you do is you attach him to a unit of Lascan and Devastators, and that unit of Lascan and Devastators can hit on twos. Yeah. And ignore night fighting and got can't interceptor it, and you can't shroud against them. No. So he's going in at 350 points for that combo. Really cheap. Um, so that's heavy. That's heavy. You're allowed three heavies. Land Raider Squadron, multi melters Lance Cannons. These guys will have to stay within four inches of each other. They are a squadron. Those are the heavies. Elites. Um, Dreadnought Talon. Fist Fist carries Assault Cannon. Uh, as soon as they, and they've got melters in their fists, as soon as they get deployed on the battle grid, they'll count as a separate unit and run off in all different directions. Remember, it's we get a point for everything we kill, so that's not one point there. That is three points there. So they're elites. They're elites. The Phoenix Blade thing, that's two elites. Oh, over here, two veteran squads. So these are two wound space marines with a better weapon skill. Weapon skill of five. And this squad here, there's two melters in there and six claws. And this squad here, they're all charnable blades. So they're choppy choppy. And of course, wherever you see, because we're so big on points, by the way, wherever you see a sergeant in the normal squad, they've all got artificer armor and melter bombs. And in veterans, one of the things you can do, 
that he's got a lovely metal bomb in his fist, you see. Oh. Clearly out of Faisarama. Um, and in veteran squads, you can give them hammers. And hammers are brutal too. They're absolutely nasty. Point scoring wise, I've got three. Because in War of Lies, there are five objectives on the table, which are worth zero points, one point or three points. If none of these are alive at the end of the game. I can't score any of those objectives. Extra points, yeah. <laughs> so can you daisy chain between two objectives? Could no. one of those squad hold an objective and the... Neg one. Negative. In okay. heresy, a unit can only control one objective okay. at a time. Just want um, to check. Yes. So if these die, I'm in a bit of trouble. But everything else in my army can deny, except for the vehicles. And unit 15, unit of 10, unit of 10. Uh, Vexilla, Artificer Armor, Melter Bombs, Power Weapon. Vexilla, Artificer Armor, Melter Bombs, Power Weapon. There's the dude. This unit, you can, in normal troops, you can pay, I think it's five points a model, and you just give them chainsaws. Um, it gives them an extra attack and shred. So I've done that. And they've all got chainsaws because Empress children like to get choppy choppy. So what we've got is quite a lot of elites, quite a lot of choppy and quite a lot of shooty. And I didn't even mention the big, the bad, the nasty, the Lord of War, the Cerberus tank. Now, this thing has got a rule called Shock Pulse. Shock Pulse means that even if I don't kill the vehicle that I'm shooting at, if I hit it, that vehicle is only doing snap firing next turn. Wow. It's hitting back on sixes. Uh, the weapon does get hot and can overcook and take wounds off of it. And if I keep firing, I did play a game off camera with Alex Sessio recently, and he did wreck his own vehicle by <laughs> by turn four by keep firing the big gun, the big gun, the just, big gun. It's cooked his own truck. <laughs> it was like in turn four, I was like, "Don't fire it. It's got two last cannons on the side. Let the gun cool down a bit." And he's like, "No, go big or go home." And it went home. <laughs> and it went home. <laughs> but it is four shots, AP one, or it's a nasty gun. Uh, but line of sight on this table is going to be very interesting. So I've got some guns, I've got some punchy, I've got Eidolon, who's going to declare whoever is the head of your army, basically, as his rival unit and get plus one to hit him. And believe me, I'm going to be coming straight for him. That's what Eidolon does in the fluff, right? He goes straight up the gut. He is gut. a spiteful so-and-so. He? he is a spiteful, <laughs> yes. Having said all that, though, you are world eaters. I don't think I'll have to go very far. No. And this is the world eaters. You've got a lot more than me. I've got loads more. And you could pick a right of war. I did pick a right of war. And there's a right of war called Berserk Phew. Assault. Yeah, that's the one. Which means, and the downside to it is, if you can charge, you have to charge. Yeah. Fortunately, vehicles don't charge in Horus Heresy, so they're not going to go charging them. But if you can charge, you have to charge. Yeah. You get plus two inches to your move. Yeah. Plus two inches to your charge. Yeah. And that plus one to pinning test. Pinning test, yeah. But if you have, if you, yeah, so potentially this is something that I could do in turn six is try and bait you off on an objective so you have to charge yeah, me and yeah, not score an something and make me charge it. And you can take rampages as troops. Rampages as troops. So how many troops have you actually got here? Uh, we've got squad of tacticals with a rhino, squad of tacticals with a rhino, squad of tacticals with a rhino, right? And then a squad of rampages with jump packs. Yes. A squad of rampages with a land raider. Yes. A squad of land ra rampages with a land raider. Okay, so, so you've got, got six, six troops. But I don't think the rampages count as line in this. They're not line, they're troops. They're troops. So yes. it unlocks other things. So actually, you've got three scoring units as well. Yes. So line is objective secured. So you've got the possibility to score th up to three. I've got the possibility of scoring up to three. Now, it looks like you've got a lot more heavies than you should have, but the big ones at the back are dedicated. Yeah. The Predators, you can take as fast attack choices. Yeah. See, this is one of the big things that people don't know about World Eaters. Well, a lot of people don't know. Many people do. Is they actually really liked big, long-range guns. Mm -hmm. They don't like any of that medium-range stuff. No, no, it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. They like the really big, long-range guns like Assault Tanks and Predators. I mean, in Codex World Eaters in 40k, there are Predators. Yeah, that's Because they like the tin cans opened up. By the time they get yeah, there, give us something to chop up to slaughter the guy. So these predators are fast attack choices. And yeah. the, anyway, world eaters um, in Horus Heresy get plus one attack on the charge. Yep, uh, you get plus two attacks on the charge. Plus two attacks. That's what world eaters do. My warlord trait. Yes. Who is on my warlordy jump pack guy at the front? My rival. It is your rival. Yes. So he gives the unit that he is with an additional plus one. So if we activate 
Fury Incarnate or Rampage Incarnate. The, the thing that gives me the World Eater's additional plus one, yes. it becomes additional plus two instead. Okay, so, so they when get plus I, three attacks on the charge. It's on the charge, though, yes, not when not you're when charged. charged. But an extra three attacks yeah. in a Rampager squad yeah. with a Praetor. Yeah. And he's got an additional reaction in the Assault phase. Yeah. What have you loaded them up with? So he's Lightning Claws... And I think lightning claws is the way to go. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I he, he we were discussing this. I have a huge amount of points of world eaters and like five characters. I have a Brilliant. distinct lack of clever stuff. You were like, oh, I've got some of these with this and a bit of this, and these this guy goes with these. Well, I've got my Praetor, who's yes. with these guys, and they're gonna go forwards and try and chop stuff up. Right. And I have an apothecary. Okay. Who's with those guys? <laughs> and I've got Khan, who isn't here, yes. and I've got Angron, who isn't here, because oh. <laughs> I'm loyal, not traitor. So 20,000 points of painted world eaters. <laughs> and I've got five characters. And five characters to play with. Yeah. But a pair of lightning claws, did you mastercraft them? I didn't, no. Oh, Maybe I should have. That's a shame. I've well, got, no, yeah, that would put your 10 points 10 over. 10 points over, mate. I've yeah. got it. I no. think he's got enough attacks anyway. I think he has. Because Praetor's four attacks, the two lightning claws, six attacks, plus three on the charge, nine, nine attacks, attacks on the charge. Yeah. That's more than some Primarchs. <laughs> I like that little guy. Okay. Right. And he must charge as he well. He must charge if he's within 12. Yes. So what else? So he's joining a unit of Rampages. Unit 10 Rampages with mixture of weapons. Are they two wins? They something? are two wins. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're very stubborn. choppy. Yeah. Okay. What else we've got? We've got two units of Outriders. Yes. So two units of five guys on bikes. Yes. We've got a, U, a squadron of three land speeders. Yes. All with last cannons and heavy bolters. Okay. Uh, they're so good I they, rate them I like them they're fun as well Yeah. I was just saying to you that they didn't exist yesterday I painted them really quickly yesterday afternoon <laughs> in time for this battle report in time for this battle report oh yes frantically painting nice well but you've got tens of thousands of points painted ready to go why did you suddenly need some more because oh, it sounded like a good idea at the time well it's always a good idea at the time but you mentioned something about being fast or so, something. So the whole what's it with this one was uh, we were we were doing the push of the narrative of getting to the Presenters Palace after the battle right. last time. And so everything in this army is either the one squad of jump pack guys yes or is in a vehicle or on a vehicle. So you've got jump packs and bikers zipping in there real quick. Yeah. But and then everything else is has mounted a up. Of transport. Oh, Even right, okay. my heavy weapon team have a rhino to drive around in, which but, is a complete waste of points. So after our last fight, which yeah. you can go back in the history and watch on the channel, you were the bad guys, I was, was the good guys. Yeah. And then because of that, now the good guys are rushing to reinforce this crossroads. Exactly. So you actually built a list for the narrative. I did. Love you a little bit right now. Um, what else were we looking at? Devastators uh, with missile launchers? Devastators with missile launchers with a rhino. Yes. Tactical squad with a bit. Tactical squad with a bit. Any upgrades? I've yes. Seen power so the sergeants fists. have got what they've got is what they've got. So one sword, two power fists. They've right. also got artificer Art armor yes. and melter bombs. Oh, nice. Um, the predators with all the lads. Predator with all the lads. Yeah, they. I paid for lads. I didn't notice. I picked up the one that's got the volkites on the Laz side, all but they're round. all lads. Okay. Yeah. Three separate sakarans. Yes. So this is a nasty plasma gun of doom, which has got different fire modes. Yeah. I think it's like either eight shots, not overcooked, or two shots overcooked. Yeah. Then we've got the standard Sakara. Daka Daka one. Lots of shots. Yeah. And then we've got the missile launcher, which has got different shots. It can even sky fire, but we've got no flyers. But that gun on top can have eight strength, eight AP2 rounds. Yeah. This is my favorite one, which I haven't I like got. It. It's I fun. need I yeah. need some of them. They're pretty as well, aren't they? They are pretty. Uh, rampages. Yeah. So with... that is the eleven man squad, all with balls and chains, with an apothecary attached to it in a land raider. So the balls and chains plus one initiative. Yeah. Plus, yeah reach. Reach. Yeah. reach. So and reach five, five plus. Oh, in the land raider. Yeah. Another rampager squad. The murder squad. That's twelve dudes, all with the uh, phalanx blades, the machetes, which are rending four plus. Four plus. So they four. just wound, ignoring four. armor on fours. They're yeah. a good anti dreadnought unit. Yeah. Can you imagine them with him? Yeah, them because with... they'd get an additional attack. So they've got two attack. They 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 become like seven or eight attacks each. See, he's my rival. Yeah. So if that unit gets wiped out, he's an independent character. So he he can go... jump in and join them. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. I have now. Uh, Terminators? I brought the Red Butchers. So everybody keeps telling me to not run the Red Butchers because they're awful. Right. But I thought they are Red Butchers models, so they ought to be Red Butchers. They're power actors. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're not what they're called. They're frothing mad men or something, so they're like Initiative 1. 
So they always well, fight like, last. Their power axes, which makes them initiative one. That's what makes them initiative one because power axes are unwieldy. Oh, okay. So if but, I because I have got some with lightning claws, maybe I should have brought them. Yeah, it's the power <laughs> axes that make them initiative one. But the thing is, they've got two power axes, yes. which gets them up to three attacks, and then on the charge, five attacks. Paraxes are only strength five, but they've got furious charge once. Yeah, I know the world. You've got this down on it, man. So it's lucky you are. <laughs> so they're actually wound. It's unwieldy, so you get hit first. But they hit back with so many attacks, typically wounding on twos, ignoring up. I th- I quite rate them. Do you, uh, do you know what? I'd not clicked that it wasn't the frothing madmen that was making them hit rubbish. So it's that means axis. my lightning claws are ones are going to... Because you can put lightning claws on them. Can you? Yeah. Bring them with lightning claws then. I've got 20 with lightning claws. They're not as bad <laughs> as the Night Lords one. The no, Contacar ones, horrendous. they're pretty bad. Yeah, the they're not mean. Alpha Legion ones are pretty bad. To be honest, my Phoenix Blade Terminators, they might be strength 6, but they're only AP3. You're all yeah. AP2. I need 6s on these guys. 6s ignore armour and cause uh, instant death. Yeah. They've got murderous strike, in, uh, murderous strike, a breaching on a six plus. That plus your initiative on the charge as well with your extra reach with them makes them bad because they fight before everything. <sighs> the Phoenix Blade Terminators are good at killing everything but Terminators. I right. found. Okay. <laughs> right. Maybe Whereas I should have brought more. <laughs> your guys with AP two weapons are going to be good at killing everything. Yeah, I think they're going to last. Yeah, they're good into average guys as well. Like you put them into normal oh, guys yeah. and they go through them. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Come out the other side. Terminators, average guys, any yeah. flavor of Terminator. I can kill an average guy. Yeah. It's, it's good. Okay, so no dreadnoughts in your list. No, but well, they're uh, not fast enough. They couldn't keep up. A lot of DACA and punchy unit, punchy unit, punchy, punchy units. And we've got the same number of scoring. I think you've got about four more units than Overall. me because you get a point for killing everything. Mm-hmm. But am I going to be really shooting at empty rhinos for well, this? I could say the same with your empty rhinos. I might. I might. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh... You do commission work, so hit up March of War. Code at UK if you want commission. You also do my um, these are my objective markers that I use. Winter's SEO objective markers. You do the pinning tokens, not the pinning tokens, battle shock tokens. Yes. And thank you for supplying me with all the bases for my lovely Empress children as well. They do look very pretty. Let's go on to deployment. And we're deployed for this four thousand five hundred point game of War of Lies. Lord Commander Eidolon is at the crossroads, one click away from the Presenter's Palace, and the World Eaters are rushing in to try and stop them. Each army is just trying to slaughter as much as possible and hold on to these objectives at the end of turn six. And Eidolon is over here. And I drop first, which yeah. means in games of Horus Heresy, you've got to counter deploy and you'll be going first unless you steal from me. Mm. Stealing's bad. It sounds good to me. Uh, so he gets plus one to hit against his rival's unit, whereas the, and you put it right opposite him. Straight opposite him. Straight opposite him. So I think we're going to go toe to toe. The Cacophony are out there supporting Eidolon and a unit of troops down here. And a unit of troops over here, because we only have three scoring things each. And then the big unit of 15 with the Vexilla here, because there's an objective there. And the Vexilla stops them running off the table. They can't. They can't fall back. Line of sight is a bit weird. So <laughs> the Laz Cannon team are here. They've got a good firing arc. That way can't see anything to their left. But at least I've got the big Tonk down down here to help them out. And there's a unit of veterans and my Dreadnoughts to support the Laz Cannon units. Inside both of the Land Raiders, the second Praetor, second in command, is inside this first Land Raider with the unit of Palantine Blades, and then, then this is the unit of Vets. And I did put a unit of Vets inside a Rhino as well. No, I didn't. They're down here. <laughs> and then you've deployed, and it's a bit of a parking lot, a bit of uh, monkeying around as well. The Outriders are a unit of one. Yes. We forgot, because you had three fast attack choices. Yeah. Then the Speeders are a unit of one. Yeah. And then they're a they're a squadron. The yeah. predators at the end. There's the rival unit. Who's in these ones? So they're the tac marines. Guy with the fist. Yes. Guy with the sword. And my other tac marines are there. Okay. And then the heavy weapon team is in this one because they've just pulled into the car park and haven't got out yet. All right. Who's in the land raiders in the middle and the Spartan? Spartan's got the red butchers in it. Yes. The middle one's got the big unit of. 12 choppy dudes, and that's got the unit of 11 hammers with the apothecary. Okay, so they're the ones with the apothecary and the extra initiative. Yeah. They're the ones that kill everything on a four up to wound. 
Your rival, what's what have they all got? Just mixed weapons. Mixed there's, weapons. There's, there's three, okay. three machetes, four big axes and four hammers. And Interestingly like enough, they're the least terrifying of all the Rampager squads yeah. then. But they've all got jump packs, which kind of makes them terrifying. Because yes. uh, jump packs in 30k move 14, and you've got plus two inches to your run, and plus two inches to your charge. Yes. Uh, and terrain slows down infantry by two. So essentially, you're not slowed by terrain when you come charging up. Now... Would you like to try and steal from me? I'd love to steal. From I invite you. you down here, and, and, and you're gonna. St- it's wrong. You shouldn't. Don't steal from me. <laughs> Don't roll a six. The amount of guns just, that just, you have. Just one six. It's, oh, fair. it's not a six. Okay. I think that's good to be honest, because the amount of guns that you have. But you've you, got so many guns. As I well. haven't got as many guns as you. As we go on to the traitors, turn one. Here we are after the traitor's movement phase. And clearly Lord Commander Eidolon has gone, hold up, that's a lot of world eaters. Because <laughs> I haven't moved very far forward. I'm terrified of your, you're, just, you're scary with your additional, mo- I look at you and I'm scared. I mean, I, look at you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. A fluffy bunny, mate. You are a fluffy bunny, but a terrifying fluffy bunny with a chainsaw. With so pink, sharp, pointy teeth. teeth. <laughs> so I haven't moved far forward. Instead, I'm lining up shots all over the place. Idle on. I thought about running him forward, but that's giving you a free first turn charge. I thought about running the dreadnoughts forward, but that's giving you a free first turn charge from anything that comes out of the land raider. So instead, I've lined up some shots. Uh, to try and take out the land raiders and the Spartan in turn one, try and take out your central push in turn one, and then I'll still have predators and Sakarans and missile launchers and javelins, oh my, coming back at me. So we're going to start here. And I have lined up. Now, land raiders have power of the machine spirits, so they can split far in all directions, because in Horus Heresy, you can only target one unit. Thing, yeah. Unless you've got power of the machine spirit or some other rule. Uh, so I've lined all these up so I can fire all the guns and the front multi-melter at that land raider, but you will get full, full cover save. So right behind the statue, not shrouding, we have eight non-twin-link las cannons which hit on threes, and two twin-link las cannons that hit on threes. And these need fives to glance your armour, and I can re-roll that with Sunder, and in the end I only get one pen. 10 last kind of shots, one penetrating hit, five up cover save, which you make. Loves it. Then the multi melter just bounced off the hull. Next up, I'm firing the big Cerberus tank straight in at your Spartan, which you are. I am going to shroud that one against. Yeah. Let's do the last cannons first. These can only glance because you've got flare shield on yeah. there. 50 point upgrade. It's a lot of points, but I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Uh, threes to hit with the last cannons, and because of flare shield, I need sixes to glance with sunder nothing at all so let's do the big gun of doom the neutron laser beam hits on threes and it gets hot and does a wound to me <laughs> okay now it's ordnance strength 10 so it's 2d6 pick the highest okay with your flare shield you need five to glance six is to pen so the first shot doesn't do anything the second shot Glances you twice. Uh, okay. Glances you once, sorry. So oh, one okay. five up shrouding save on the Spartan. Oh, oh, otherwise it's going to explode. No. no, it's just a glance. It's just a glance. It drops a hull point, but because of shock pulse, you're only snap firing next turn. Yep. So the Spartan's on five hull points remaining. Interestingly, the big thing that shot at it is on five hull points remaining. Yep. <laughs> so it did as much damage to you as it did to me. Now... The gun also does feedback because it's like a pulse line. And because I failed to penetrate your armor, I want to do another mortal wound to myself. No. Okay. So, so far, two of my big gun units have failed to do anything to your armor. We're now coming down to the Laz Cannon team. I can fire all 10 of these at that Sakaar in there. That's the only thing I can get line of sight with all 10. Or I can fire six of them into the Land Raider. Yeah. <sighs> Let's fire six of them into Land Raiders. I started, so I'll finish. Two's to hit, though. And I hit four times. Uh, I'm going to need fours to glance on a Land Raider. No, fives to glance. Strength nine versus 14. Yeah, fives. With Sunder. There are intervening models. So you do get six up save on them because the Dreadnoughts are in front. Uh, separately, oh, you Sorry. don't make any of them. That's fine. So that's three hull points gone, and on sixes, I will detonate the land raider. 
no detonations. Instead, it's just stunned. Yeah. Uh, so it means that it's got reinforced hull. So you're not snap firing, right. but you can't move. Okay. And interestingly, that is the end of Traitor's Turn 1. I've stunned a land raider. I've made sure that Spartan is only snap firing on the way back. Nothing else Could is I in line. Could I return fire? Um, you can only return fire. Well, you've shrouded already. You've done your one thing. One. And the other thing is, returning fire, you can only return fire with defensive weaponry. Okay. On uh, vehicles, which is strength six or lower. Right. You so know the Sakaran, you know, you've got this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got the Sakaran with the big gun on top, the murder ball, assault cannon, auto? I, I've got them at home. I've yeah. Got, he's not painted yet. There's one with 18 shots on it, which is like strength six AP3. That could return fire. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. You don't, if you're infantry, you just don't, you just don't shoot, shoot it, it, basically. Just in it's, case. It's, it's designed to murder stuff. Um, anyway, okay. apart from that stuff and things, I'm staying cautiously back. You have a lot of big guns. What will the Loyalists do in World Eaters? Turn one. The Loyalist World Eaters have responded to the Emperor's children's aggression the only way they know how by going forward. Out on this flank, the Sakaran has moved all the way around at cruising speed, so it's only firing one of its weapons at full ballistic skill, and they're joined by the Outriders right in front. Uh, that did give me some juicy targets to think about, but from the stunned Land Raider, the unit of Rampages thought, sod it, if the Land Raider isn't moving, we're gonna run, and they've just run straight up the gut. That unit has an apothecary right in front of them. It means they can't charge this turn, but they are facing three dreadnoughts. What madness is this? Round here, there's a unit of troops staying still in this uh, Rhino right now. And the unit of Devastators with the missile launchers that were inside the Rhino, the Rhino moved and they've ran to get up here to full line of fire next turn. They're gonna be snap firing this turn, but them along with the tank, along there's a lot of stuff on the right flank. In the middle, this is the stunned Land Raider, which can still fire at full ballistic skill. This Land Raider is untouched. They're lining up Dreadnoughts as well. And the other Sakaran with the plasma guns is looking at the Dreadnoughts as well. Here we have the stunned Spartan, sorry, the, the snap firing Spartan. And the Red Butchers got out. They're uh, hugging, they are ravening madmen. But for right now, the nails are not singing fully yet. So they're hiding behind the watchtower. And then right on this flank, your my rival unit, your warlord, decided to advance forward with the warhawk jump packs and jump came right up the gut. So I reacted because you're my rival unit and stepped forward to meet you. Again, no charges can be made because of the running, but you pretty backed close. it up with a yeah, pretty <laughs> close. But you backed it up with a lot of firepower. There are Predator tanks. There are the Javelins standing here staring at them. There is another Sakaran standing here. So there's going to be an awful lot of firepower on the left and the center and the right flanks. World Eaters doing what World Eaters do. They were, as I said earlier, they want to crack open these tin cans so they can get to the soft cat food inside. Okay, we're going to start with the unit of Outriders. They do have line of sight up at my Devastator squad here. Spather bikes, 10 shots, twin linked bolt guns, hitting on threes. Twin linked in heresy is a re roll to hit, so in the end, eight hits come through, and these are wound on fours. The Artificer guy isn't in line of sight or range, so I have to tank these on non Artificer on threes, and he killed two of them. Above and behind the Outriders, the Devastator squad are quickly loading their weapons to fire next turn, because if you run, you can't shoot. So we're now to the uh, Sakaran Omega, which is picking at the first of the Dreadnoughts. Yeah, it's not the Omega, but I can't remember what it's called now. I forget. Um, the missile one. The missile one, Scorpus. Threes to hit. Twin linked. Lucky it's twin linked. Yeah. So in the end, four hits, and this is strength eight versus toughness seven. You need threes to wound. It is AP2, that is only one wound. I get a five up save and, and I make the it. save. As missiles spank off the front of the Contemptor's armor, LAS cannon rounds come in from the Land Raider as well. Four shots not twin linked. Oh yeah, not twin linked. And then one shot in the nose, which is twin linked and that hits, okay. And all of these will wound on twos. That was a good catch. A reroll for Sunder. 
Uh, Sunder, the reroll for Sunder is only against vehicles. Oh, he hits it wounded. So, uh, five up in vulnerable saves. It takes two wounds. It's on. Four remaining. But the Contemptor is caught in a crossfire. We have the second Land Raider targeting it as well. The front gun can't see it, but the, both of the Sponsoon guns can see it. So, four shots hitting on threes. And that is three hits. Two's to wound the Contemptor. Will you take it out? Those are three wounds. I don't make any of the saves. It's on one wound remaining. Between the two Land Raiders, I finally found the car and Omega. The one with the plasma array on top. It sees the Contemptor reeling and weakened and fires in with its gun. Uh, not doing the overcharge version. You no. don't need to. Instead, eight shots, twin linked as a plasma fury ricochets out across the battlefield. Six hits so far, and that's seven hits. Strength seven versus toughness seven is forced to wound, but four's breach goes straight through the armor, and that is three wounds. Um, do you sell the dice as well? I do sell the dice, dice as well, Dice yeah. available from much of what? Good evening. Okay, so one wound remaining, five up and vulnerable save, three wounds to take. I fail every single one. The dreadnought dies and blows up that far. So the crossfire has taken out the first of my ancient a contemptor has fallen. Now we're on to the Spartan, snap firing all of its guns into the land raider right in front. Hitting on sixes because they're snap firing, but all of the Spartan's guns are twin linked and there's two hits already. And that's two hits. Strength nine, front armor 14, fives glance. And they glance and pen. There is no saves. I'm right in front. I'm not shrouding. I'm saving it for this unit over here. Yeah. My my <laughs> HQ Definitely. unit. Okay, so that's two hull points gone. Yes. And on a six, you blow it up. Don't roll a six. No. You roll a three. Stunning it. So again, uh, it's a bit going to be a bit of a roadblock there here. Is. They're both going to fire okay, but I can't move. <laughs> this Stop. one is... Yeah, the tracks are locked up. Right, so now we're all the way down to your final flank over here. I have reacted with Eidolon and everything, and there's a lot of guns that you can either put into Land Raiders or into Eidolon's Phoenix Terminators. I need to thin the Terminators. I haven't shrouded yet. I'm waiting for this. Who are you starting with first? I'm going to start with the Sakaran into, into Terminators. He's my least worrying. Th I'm not going to shroud this. No? No. Oh, there's Laz cannons there. Those okay. are the ones I need to shroud to against. Keep, oh, do you only get to do it for the one? It doesn't Once. stay it's not for the rest of the shooting against them? No, no, no. You react Just... against one unit. Oh, not that they're now shrouded for the rest of the shooting phase. No. Ooh. It's not like smokescreen in 40k. I yeah, can't just yeah, yeah. keep can't it going. It and it's there it's and it's... once against one unit. They're oh. ducking and covering and, and rolling away from shots from one unit. Yeah. And then they can then hit them with other up. units. So, Sakaran? Sakaran. Okay, there's a couple of Laz cannons on it. Shall we do them first? Let's do them first. At least there's cover. I don't really need cover. They both hit. Two's to wound. I don't need cover. I've got my five up saves. Five up, Terminator, invulnerable saves or death, because it's double my toughness. It is. Strength is double my toughness. I lose one. Now, eight shots from the accelerator turret on top. Three's to hit. For some reason, these aren't twin linked. Two's to wound. Sixes go straight through the armor. Okay, so I have got three two-up Terminator plate saves, <gasps> and one dies, and then what, that one's a five-up and done. Uh, so two are dead, and one's taken a wound so far. And there's a heavy bolter in the front nose on threes, and that's three hits, and threes to wound with a heavy bolter. And that is three wounds, and uh, sorry, two wounds, and two more two-up saves. I'm good. What are we doing next, James? Do the Predators next. There's four Laz Cannons. Eight Laz Cannons there, James. Eight Laz Cannons. I'm shrouding this. Eight Laz Cannon shots. <gasps> Hitting on threes. And that is five hits. Two's to wound with Laz Cannon fire. Nine, toughness four. And only three oh. wounds. Three five plus invulnerable saves, which I fail. And then three five plus shrouding saves, which I really need. Oh, and pass look at that. every single one so they duck and roll from the vindicator fire but that's my shrouding done are you unloading with the javelins yeah, we'll the javelins next so this is six more las cannons just as good as the cannon. okay threes to hit please miss you missed three miss. times yay <laughs> two's to wound uh three wounds come through three five plus invulnerable saves and you kill three of them three more 
The unit have been cut in half. There are only five remaining, but there's 12 bolter shots coming in from the speeders as well. Hitting on threes, daka, 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 say the orcs, and I think the orcs aren't around anymore. We wiped them out at Eleanor. They're all gone, mate. There's They're all none gone. left, is there? Yeah, never that's never going to come back. Never going to see them again. The Emperor definitely got rid of that threat. I have seven Terminator saves to make, and one of them gets injured. And then at that point, the world need to stop to rearm and reload. That is the end of the shooting phase. They have wiped out one of my contemptors and made a roadblock with the land raiders on the crossroads and more importantly cut down Eidolon's unit by half and he needs to make a leadership test at 10 which he passes otherwise he would fall back which is a very Eidolon thing to do actually <laughs> yeah. to turn around oh no they're away. dead run away <laughs> okay so that is the end of turn one I'm gonna have to charge these guys aren't I it would be nicer to go into the javelins but I'm gonna have to charge have they got plus one any initiative or things like that uh, there is a couple in there with plus one. There's, so it's, it's a mixed one. Yeah, there's only three with plus one initiative okay. and the Praetor. Okay, but Eidolon's hammer is initiative six on the charge. <laughs> also, they if you charge me, it makes a massive difference because I'm not getting oh, yeah. my plus, 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 plus attacks yeah. and things like that. Yeah, so. you're down to normal attacks rather than a three billion. Yeah. Okay, so we're now going to go on to Emperor's Children, Traitor's Turn 2. They've got to push back somewhere along this uh, along this line of attack from the World Eaters because there's a lot of them out there. Here we are after the Emperor's Children movement phase. The traitors respond, both of the Dreadnoughts going straight up the gut towards the Rampager squad. And this unit of veterans wants to engage the Outriders because we're in cover there. That's going to be a nine inch charge if I want to try and make that. It's like coming out of Deep Strike. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a Rhino. Hanging out on the flanks, please shoot a rhino instead of all the other things. Um, I thought about moving the two from the Laz Cannon team down out of line of sight because models that move only fire snapshots. The ones that remain stationary aren't firing snapshots and then they're not going to get hit back. But there's only a couple of, I mean, if you fire your missile launchers at this unit, then I'm only moving these two because in Heresy you can only kill stuff in line of sight and range. So if I shot them with frags with templates and some of them scattered and yes. all that sort of stuff so then it could spill over to then the guys at the bottom blast and scatter yeah. can hit the guys so like on the bottom gives me the option to target those top two with 10 frag missiles yeah to then spill maybe some of them down you there. could kill the whole squad potentially so I, it only just occurred to me i thought i'd mention that in case you wanted to change your mind and pull them off the top well the thing is all of them right now can hit that Sakaran, but that's the least of my threats. Okay. Right now, getting down, having a good look, six of them can hit that Sakaran with the plasma on it. Yeah. And if I move them, four of them are shooting at that thing with okay. the thing on it. So do I want to move them? I mean, or are you going to fire them down at other things? There are other things that are... I mean, if you move them, I'm going to have to shoot somewhere else, but... Hmm. Let me think. No, I'm doing what I'm doing. They're staying there. I said I'd be doing that. They're going to do that. If you want to shoot at them, shoot at them. It's fine. Uh, this unit stays still because Heart of the Legion is a thing. If I move them around to get more shots into the Rampager squad, I actually lose shots. If they stand still, they get extra shots. So we need firepower that way. Big guns going straight up the gut. Land Raiders and uh, the Cerberus. No idea which direction they're going to fire in. But uh, coming out of one of the Land Raiders, the stunned one at the front, is the unit of Palantine Blade. So you reacted here yes. with your Raven and Madmen. They've come forward. They have. They want to scrap. They're so fast. <laughs> and then down here, of course, Lord Commander Eidolon is bracing himself for the charge into his arrival unit. But before I do this, I disembarked all the troops to throw some firepower into them. Yep. So let's start here. One minute. I shuffled them a bit. You already did your reaction over yep. there. Yeah, that's fine. So we are doing this, and there's a lot of Sonic Lancers coming into this squad. One minute, one minute, one minute. I just remembered, because each of us has got once per battle advanced reaction. Wow. And now my advanced reaction is, if you declare a charge against me, I declare a charge against you. And if I beat you on the roll-off, I charge you, charging. which is good because my initiative is higher. US. What's your advanced reaction? If you shoot me, yes. I gain a feel no pain. Yes. And then I charge you yes. in the shooting phase, yes. which denies you the charge and you can't react to it. So I'm not yeah. shooting them <laughs> with Masonic stuff. 
because we know these were we've been fighting on Ispan 3 for some time now and we know how they respond don't shoot at them with the unit that you want to charge in instead let's shoot them with loads of cacophony from a distance right shooting at world eaters from range is definitely the way to go cacophony all of their weapons get hot and they hit on threes uh, so i have to do it like this thank you take the twos out thank oh so far we're okay don't roll any ones look at these there's no ones yet and he said that which means they're going to roll seven ones now there they are right uh breaching uh they get a full up armor save so one dies um still alive does this one die no I've one dead so far I expected to lose a lot more. I thought you were going to lose more than this. Right. These are strength six. So I'm winning you on twos. So twos to wound. So tanking on the artificer two at a time. He's still alive. Still alive. A few moments later. Uh, he takes a wound. wound. We keep going. Okay. He's still alive. Now he's, he's dead. dead. Okay, so all the remaining ones are three up saves, so and your sergeant ones. is gone. You can do them all together. Two and a half die, then you take a pinning test at minus one, but plus one because of your berserk thing, and you are not pinned. Pins. Then behind the cacophony, the unit of tactical marines that got outside of the side hatch of the rhino are going to rapid fire into them as well. On threes and fours, let's cut these loyalist dogs down. Forcing nine, three up saves. And one more falls. Okay, so we'll come all the way down to this flank where this unit of veterans with their bolt pistols are going to shoot at the unit they want to charge. And they hit on threes and only get four hits through. Now, bikers in 40k are weird. They're only toughness four with one wound. And a wound twice. Uh, did you put Artificer on the Sergeant of the Outrider? So three up saves. I kill a bike. The rhino join in on the firepower, but uh, only one dead there, probably making the charge distance even longer. So we're coming across here, the Devastator Squad, which I said is going to pick on the nastiest Sakaran. Yeah. We're doing that now. And the World Eaters are shrouding against this attack. The last cannons hit on twos, and front armor of a Sakaran is 13 with Sunder. And that is one glance and three pens. You do have a six up cover save. So a six up on the glance. Okay, none of the pens then. Sorry. And then the glance mm -hmm. is fine. Wrong way around. Okay, you don't. Nope. And now you've got to shroud them separately. Okay, so I can do the three. Three together. pens, yep. Yeah. And you shroud one of them and the glance. And you shroud that too. So two penetrating hits come through, which could kill it on sixes. And there's a six. It dies and it explodes four inches. There was a land raider sat next to that Sakaar and so the shrapnel blowing off of it, of course, did not injure them. Now we're coming down here to the Cerberus heavy tank destroyer firing point blank-ish <laughs> into the land raider. And you're saying you're not shrouding this either? I shroud, I did him in Oh yeah, you've yeah, done the, yes, done that's, the that's your shroud. Your shroud is done. Um, so let's shoot the big gun on top. None of them get hot this time. Oh. Strength 10. Four's glance. Ordnance. So the first shot doesn't pen. The second shot pens. The third shot pens. And the fourth shot pens. I've got three pens and there are intervening models. Three sixes coming up. Uh, that one's really cocked. Really cocked. Um, we you, got one. You got one. It's only got a couple of hole points left. So it is dead. Does it blow up? AP1. Fives blow it up. It does blow, it does up. blow up. Is there anyone inside that one? Uh, no. That no. Oh yeah, these guys got out of it. So yeah. two vehicles down. That's pretty That's good pretty student good. text. It is. And the land raiders, you've noticed that the one of the one of the front couldn't move. The one at the back has shuffled round a bit, and there are squadrons, so you can actually fire through your own guys. Ah. However, 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 um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not firing at the front of a flare shielded spot, and no, there is no like point. Sounds like a really good idea. No, I can only glance it. You no, can't... well, you might glance it. Though. I love them penetrating hits, and I can't oh, pen. No, so might. let's shoot at the second land raider in the backfield. But it doesn't want you to. It doesn't want. And yes, uh, but the guns that can't shoot it are going to shoot at the red butchers because okay. I can split fire. 
Four non-twin link shots into Land Raider, only one hit. Two twin link shots into Land Raider, which are twin linked. Uh, hit twice. <laughs> wow. Five's glance. Uh, two glancing hits. I could re-roll that for Sunder and try and get a pen. Ooh. That would be cheeky, Ooh. wouldn't it? Let's Ooh. do that. And it made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four last cannons, non-twin linked are going to hit Red Butchers. And only two hit. And one wound. Four up cataphracty and vulnerable save, sir. Which you don't make. That cuts one straight in half. And the two multi-melters will hit them as well. Which wound on twos. And two more cataphracty saves on the red butchers. Oh, I kill two. At least the land raiders did something. And that has softened them up. So there's four left. So maybe my palatine blades can hurt them in the fight phase. I think that's it for the shooting. Um, need to do the rhinos over here into the rampager squad. Oh, and this squad here that stood still with Heart of the Legion firing into these rampagers. So did the rhino off camera? No way I would kill one. I killed one. <laughs> got one. So got one uh, you've got six and your warlord versus five in my warlord here. Mm -hmm. Then Heart of the Legion with the troops over here fired into rampager squad and no way I killed one. But I killed one. Yeah, another one now. <laughs> and then I remembered I've got more guns. Uh, the Dreadnought right in front wants to go charging in. Yeah. So I'll fire that. He's got two melters in his fist and both of them hit. I'm, I'm going to do my reaction. What's your reaction? I get my feel no pain. And, and you can charge, charge me. In. Okay. These won't give you feel no pain because they're strength eight. Okay. But they will give you your advanced reaction, your auto charge. Two die. Two die. Because it's AP one. Instant death. Instant death. And then you charge. The butchers now start <gasps> singing. That is a five inch charge. You yep. get plus two to your charge. The way it works in Heresy is the closest model has to go to the closest model, and then you can place the rest wherever you want to. Yep. And at the end of that advanced reaction, it looks like this. And you're at initiative five with your meteoronic hammer, so you're going to be hitting me first. And I was going to fire in with the second dreadnought as well, because I think this charge over here is silly. But instead, I think the dreadnought with the Kerry's assault cannon. There's lots of missiles up there. Yeah. I think I need to fire at them. So let's thin, thin out the missile launcher squad. Carries assault cannon, hits on twos. That's five hits. It's strength six, so I need twos to wound, but six is rend. So those are all full armor save. Five, three up saves. Ooh, Got you it. lose three of the missile launcher guys. Yes. And that is the end of Can my shooting fire? attack. You've done your reaction in the shooting phase. Is that when do I get an extra one? Um, your guy's got an extra one in the assault, assault phase. phase. Yeah. yeah, that's his thing. Sorry. Before the fight phase, we have leadership tests to make. Your devastators don't roll higher than an eight. That's higher it's than higher an eight. Than eight that's an eleven. What are you did doing? This last time, we, when we played in January, they stood on a building, got yeah. shot, turned round, ran away, turned round, climbed back on the building, got shot, turned round, and ran away again. Well, hopefully that happens again today. <laughs> How far they get? Two d six or one d six? Yes, two d six. Nine inches. Uh, it's not going to be too. F oh yeah, you've got all the got, crates to get yeah, down. Yeah, so we're going about six, five or six. Or well, five they're or six too back. far back for the butchers' nails to be seen. They can't smell the blood, sweat, and fear of the enemy. After your devastators fall back, the ravening madmen, the red butchers, stood in the middle of the battle grid. They're fearless. They don't care. They don't care. But your Praetor's unit, it's their still... leadership 10. Yeah. So don't roll more than a 10. I'm good at rolling more than a 10 when I don't need to. Yeah. That's an 8. You're fine. Good. They're all right. Oh. So that is the end of the shooting phase. That was pretty successful. I've wiped out two vehicles entirely. And made the Devastators fall back. I'll buy that for a dollar. You've still got big guns in the middle and uh, the Predators. and the, You've still got a lot over here. Still stuff to fly. So now let's charge. Eidolon and the Phoenix Guard Terminators into his rival's unit. And that's a six inch charge. We go crumping in there. Then in the middle, the Palantine Blades, led by the second in command. This is a five or six inch charge. Going into the Red Butchers might not be the best life choice, but let's see how this gets on. Uh, that's a six. After the Palantine Blades engage in close combat, there's another charge to make. Uh, down here with my veteran squad against your outriders, and we already did the Overwatch, and you, you killed did. my sergeant. You got your sergeant. I tried to tank it on the sergeant. It didn't work. This is a ten-inch charge because terrain is in the way, and that's oh. a ten. 
the veteran squad make the charge. They pile in. We're going to start here with the Outriders. We don't need no sergeant. They've all got charnable blades. Four attacks each on the charge. And because they're veterans, they hit on threes. Now, jamesmarchwar.co.uk. Yes. I don't mean to alarm you, but charnable blades are quite alarming. Yes. So I'm going to wound you on fours. Okay. But breaching five plus. Okay. So no armor no on armor. five. Yeah. How many guys you got there? Nine. Nine. So nine fives. And, and I wipe out the unit. Not as many as I thought. Six are dead. Four three up saves, however. Okay. Eight are dead. There's one, one remaining. Dude left. <laughs> oh, no. So there's one lone outrider left who can fight. The sergeant's dead, but they do come with a bolt pistol chainsword, so they do get two attacks and they hit on threes. And he hits both of the times. Chainsword's wound on fours, and they shred, so you can re-roll that wound roll. Here's the thing, by the way. Oh yeah, two trip saves. And I pass them both. Yeah. Here's the thing. You know Twin Linked in Heresy is re-roll hits. Yes. And in 40k, it's reroll wounds. <laughs> Which is going to confuse me really badly. But in Heresy, Shred is reroll wounds. So why so didn't, why they, didn't just... they just call them all Shred? Yeah, a little bit. They could have had Twin Linked and Shred, and it doesn't. And it would have been the same things, definitely. Yeah. Also, why didn't I put chain axes on my bikes for free? For free, yeah, because everywhere there's a chain sword, you can put chain a chain axe. Actually, you did wound with both of them, but yeah, I so made the matter, save. That's fine. Anyway, this was a long shot on this flank. And it looks like it paid off, Cotton. Do I need to lead a ship here? You do. You need a snake eyes. I could totally roll a snake eyes. Yeah. You don't roll a snake that. eyes. So initiative roll off or I sweep you. Yeah. D6 plus four. After you, sir. So you rolled a eight. I need to beat this. And I don't beat this. You do fall back successfully you, 2d6 inches. Your additional initiative. Uh, only for only combat. For combat combat right, okay. stuff. Not for the fall back sweeping of arch shenanigans. So I go 2d6 inches. You do. He turns around and gets the hell out of there. <laughs> going back inches. 10 inches backwards. At the end of that combat, it looks like this. And Heresy can consolidate in any direction. So I'm taking a bit of cover in and amongst the tank tracks. That was very successful. What might not be as successful... <laughs> is the attack against the Red Butchers. Right. Ravening Madmen, fearless. Yep. Your weapon skill of five. Yeah. But you, I always hit you on threes. Yes. You yes. count me as weapon skill three, don't you? I always, I, yeah, you I always count as weapon skill three, but it's but minus hit. one to wound you yes. is the thing. So it's easier to hit you, but harder to wound you. Yes. So my Praetor with his Mastercrafted Phoenix Power Spear, he'll hit on twos and it's Mastercrafted. So he hits all the times. Strength six would normally wound on twos, but threes because of rambling madmen. Oh dear. Uh, those are instant death, murder, strike. I'm <laughs> that's so what, Fien kill, that's so what the rapiers do. Three of them. Well, unless you pass your four up in vulnerable saves. Oh, right. You could so pass your four up. I thought you meant instant death as in they're dead. No, well, you get your. You get still a cat factory. You get your yeah, yeah, three in like... Here we go. Um, he kills Woo! one of them. And then there's three, uh, two new normal armor saves as well. And two normal armor. Two saves. normal armor saves as well. These won't instant kill you. You're fine. Right now I'm going to fight with the rest of the unit. Okay. Right in this squad, yes. I've got some shenanigans. Okay. Okay. So my elites in close combat and the Phoenix Terminators have a rule called skill unmatched. Okay. So I can make it easier or harder for you to hit me. Okay. I hit you at the same thing. Yes. I'm, hit, I'm weapon skill five versus weapon skill five. Yeah. But I can make it weapon skill six back for you to hit me. Yes. But I lose attacks. Oh, okay. So that's what they do. So in, these are the two-handed ones. Yeah. And four of them have got two-handed ones. So I take out four attacks. Okay. But I'm still weapon skill five versus weapon skill five for the purposes of hitting you. But basically, it's like defensive stances or attacking stances. You. You, you can actually gain more attacks and lose weapon skills as well. So I'm going to hit you on threes, because I always hit you on threes. Then the two-handed weapons are strength five. But instead of winning on threes, winning you on fours, because of ravening madmen. And they breach. Right. So those are cataphracty saves. And one, one takes dies. a wound. Here are the remaining dudes with uh, extra attacks each. And these are strength four, so I'm winning you on fives, because of rounding madmen, but fives, breach. That one's really cocked. We have six Terminator saves. And you lose three more wounds. That leaves one Red Butcher standing. So the Devoured guy, three attacks, two close combat weapons, four attacks. But he's hitting on fives because of my defensive stance. Yeah. 
We're re-rolling because I hate you. Yeah. Red Butchers have hatred everything. They really, really hate. They hate biscuits. They hate cookies. They hate puppies. Who hates puppies? Who hates puppies? I'll tell you who hates puppies. Red, Red Butchers, Butchers hate, hate puppies. Um, that was it. That was the roll to hit, the roll to wound. You did it, right? No, Had that the roll was the wound. roll to hit and then the re-roll. Oh, so okay. I've got two hits. Strength five. Does a wound, wound at AP minus two. I don't get a save. I kill one. one. No, they have two wounds each. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> And strangely enough, Red Butchers are also fearless. Yes. So this unit is just locked up. Honestly, that's probably the best result for me. Yeah. Okay. We're coming down to Lord Commander Ilon versus your Praetor. Yep. Uh, I'm going to challenge you. Oh, you see, I've got to... So I can, select, I can answer a challenge with anybody in that unit. Yes. And I haven't but said it... I'm challenging you with Eidolon yet either. Oh, okay. Can you do it with anybody? Yes. Oh, Chosen okay. Warriors. <laughs> So this guy's challenging you. Okay, so... You have to accept it, otherwise do he doesn't to, get to yeah, fight, basically. But, but that means anyone can challenge... Any of mine can accept the challenge, can't they? So I could accept so basically, the regular guy. I'll tell you what then, let's not bother challenging. We'll because just we smash can, each yeah. other. Yeah, it just gets complicated. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, we so, can all challenge everybody and everyone could just fight one-on-one. On one. <laughs> right. Have you got anything higher than Initiative 5 right now? Because no, I charge you. a couple of guys with Initiative 5. Right, because the spears, because they're initiative four, plus one with reach, initiative five, yep. plus one Empress Children, in initiative six. Yep. Idle on initiative six. So I'm going okay. first. Your Praetor's at initiative five. Five, yeah. So I'm going first. So let's do all the spear. I could do skill unmatched here as well. What's your weapon skill? Same as me, but one minute. Your Artificer Sergeant's dead. Yes, he is. And all of these attacks are AP3. So they're just going to shoot. So they're going to go straight through. So I'm not going to skill unmatched. Okay. I'm just going to hit you. Volume. So they're all initiative six. You just said, wow. wow. They are. It's a, Well, they're good at killing anything, but not Terminators, and you're not a Terminator. So I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to hit you on fours. At strength six, I'm going to wound you on twos. That one's instant death, because you have two wounds each. Yeah. So that kills one, two, three, four. Four get wiped out. Okay. And there's three remaining, including your Praetor. Now Eidolon raises his hammer, normally unwieldy, but thunderous charge. So yep. not unwieldy on the charge. And against the unit, he's hitting them on threes. And it is strength eight, AP minus two, brutal two. Okay, so only two wounds come through, which is really interesting. You can put them on the two guys, or you can tank on your Artificer, on, on your guy with a four up and vulnerable save. Oh, but, four, yeah, not on it. Yeah, so kill two guys or start putting them on him. But if you fail wrong. one brutal save because it's strength eight versus toughness four, it'll yeah. insta kill him. I think it's going to have to go on the two normal guys. Okay. Which is a bit upsetting, but. So just your warlord, my rival is standing. He piles in with his six attacks and he hits on threes. And he hits four times. And he's yeah. going to wound on fours, re rolling to wound. I think he re rolled for lightning claws. No. That's to wound. <laughs> Uh, there's an AP tour because it it's uh it rends on a six. Yeah. And those reroll wound. Are they on reroll? They are wrong. Uh, Ooh. Another one. Okay, so two invulnerable saves and two armor saves. Here's the invuns. He takes out the injured gun, and here's the two two ups, and we're okay. Oh, love it. And at least you take out one of your terminators. But now you need a leadership test. Your praetor is not stubborn. And he oh, fails a leadership nice. test, so initiative roll off. Basically, I have to beat you with a dice roll. I rolled a one, you rolled a two. two. He will be able to fall back safely. Yeah. So okay. I haven't slayed the warlord. And honestly, just like in the middle with the Palantine blades, I'd have preferred to lock you up. Yeah. Because they're still in the open. They're a bit exposed right about now. Oh, and he's going eleven inches I think towards he, my table edge. Straight off. towards your table edge. Not near the neighbor, no, that's no. all right. Then, so he's not just jumping off the board. No, no, no. I mean, this way down here is further down the road. There's some Sons of Horus and some Death Guard fighting over there. You're not going that way. You're going that way back towards safety and the lines. So Eidolon and his unit consolidate straight towards the rival. And 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Laz Cannons. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> I mean, that was absolutely brutal. I've wiped out the Rampager squad here. I've ramped, wiped out the Red Butchers here, except for one. I wiped out the Outrider squad there, except but we still have one more combat to resolve. And you charge me, and with Meteoric Hammers, these Rampagers get to go first against this uninjured Contemptor Dreadnought. 
And because the Rampage is charged, they have 29 attacks. Forced to hit. Here we go. Much hits big wow, James. Many, many. Now, it's a Contemptor. Fives to wound, but fives breach. Straight through the armour. Straight through. Come on, fives and sixes. Six came through. Six, five up, automatic shielding saves. And it's on two wounds remaining. Just can, two. Can the Apothecary finish it? Oh, yeah, he's got a chain axe. Uh, well, no, does he have a higher initiative? Uh, not right now. He no, he doesn't. Have a meteoric hammer. It's the same initiative, so you can do it at the same time. Okay. So he's got, he charged in and he's yeah. a world eater, so he's got five attacks because it's he's crazy. Got a chain axe and yeah. a yeah. pistol. So. We well, come to two, chain axe, pistol, three, plus two on the charge, five. 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 <laughs> five, many. Here we go. Uh, he's going to hit on fives, though. Because he's not a rampager, that's two hits, and he's going to wound with his chain axe on sixes, strength five, toughness seven. But he rerolls to wound, shred, chain axe. No, one wound, fine. one to up save. I make the save. My contemptors on two wounds remaining. I'm going to try and punch you back on fours. I hit twice. I'll kill on twos. It's dreadnought fists. Do I get to? Two are dead. What? Do I get to apothecary eyes them? No, because it's strength nine, so, so it's more than yeah. The strength die. is higher. Um, is it insta kill or two wounds? Uh, well, when the strength is at least double your toughness, it yeah. causes instant death. Right, so which means you don't killed. get feel no pain, and it kills yeah. the model. Not doesn't matter. Yeah. So you've killed four wounds worth of no, guys. No, I killed two. two. Yeah, so Just four two. wounds worth of guys because they're two wounds each. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. two 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 wound models have died. Yeah. Yes. But interestingly enough, you did four wounds to me. I did four wounds to you. Yeah. That combat's a draw and we're locked up. No leadership need to be taken. Mm. And that is the end of Empress Children. Turn two. And by staying back in turn one, Lord Commander Eidolon showed himself to be the genius tactician that he's not a genius tactician. I'm not gonna shout out. Lord Commander Eidolon. I think you just did. I know. A little bit. He's not my favourite by a long way. Yes, he is. Don't say that. I can edit this out. Um, <laughs> so by staying back a little bit, it allowed me to counter charge you here, there and everywhere. But I am exposed with my squad of veterans on this side. My warlord, Eidolon, straight up the gut as ever and extending himself behind... Uh, Bef uh, ahead of all the main thrust as ever and normally needs rescuing by someone else normally Sol Tarvitz. so we'll see if that needs to happen um, you have some devastators back there which we're going to need to roll to regroup at the start of your turn so we might as well do it now leadership 8 don't roll higher than an 8 you don't roll higher than an 8 you're good they right. just stay there as they mill around and so we don't get to use them this turn no uh, you basically don't uh, move they count a snap uh, from uh, so they stood there after getting shot at, milling Running away. around. <sighs> These missiles yes. have never done work for me, ever. They just run away and then turn around and run back a bit. Well, that's a lot of firepower that you're losing. Yeah. However, Sakaran, yeah, uninjured. Yeah. Land Raider, Spartan, another Sakaran, mm -hmm. Predator, Predator Squadron, Owl Trider. All of a sudden, the remaining World Eaters have got more guns than bite. Yeah. But they are loyalists yeah. as we go on to World Eaters. Turn two. One minute. We remembered there was more regrouping to do. Your bike failed. He's still going back. He's and your Praetor ready. leadership 10. Can he yeah. regroup? Yeah. Okay. Your Praetor regroups as well. So everyone regroups except for this lone biker here. Yeah. Now we're on to World Eaters. Turn two. Here we are after the World Eaters movement phase. The scar I'm pivoting a little bit over here. This is a unit of tactical marines staying inside the Rhino because there's an objective there, an objective there for later in the game. Facing them is this unit of veterans, however. So I imagine a lot of firepower is going to go into them. When you regroup, you can move up to your initiative. So the Devastators have moved round, but yep. they will be snap firing. And then down in this melee, we have the Spartan looking at the uh, C Contemptor. We have them look. There's a lot of crossfire in this corner of the crossroads. Crossfire in the crossroads. However, what is extremely dangerous to the traitor Empress children is the last unit of Rampages have disembarked from the Land Raider. And they're going to go flying in to the Palantine Blades and support that last remaining Red Butcher. And they rend on a four up. Basically, that unit with my second in command shouldn't be there at the end of this charge. And then over on the left flank, there is still a unit of troops inside this rhino. But the second rhino has done a handbrake turn and disembarked his guys. 
because your Praetor that regroup was screaming, get he, over he, here! He looked a little bit out on his own, didn't he? If, well, on his own, it means that I could las cannon snipe him from halfway across the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> so so at the end of the movement phase, he's joined a unit of tactical marines. Yep. He's facing down Eidolon and the Terminators. But as previously mentioned, there's about a million las cannons that are about to rain into them as we go on to the World Eater shooting phase. So we're going to start up this side of the battle grid with the Javelin Land Speeders firing at point blank range into Eidolon's Terminator unit. And the last cannons hit on threes. Three hits come through, wounding on twos. And that is only two wounds. Invulnerable saves. You do wipe out two of them, however. Down 12 heavy bolter shots on threes. Wounding on threes. Forcing six two-up saves, and another Terminator is injured. Seeing that the Phoenix Terminators are injured, the unit that have regrouped along with the uh, along with the Praetor are firing their bolters in at this squad here, and they're hitting on threes. Bolt gunfire, trying to chink off the last wound on the Terminator on fours, forcing seven saves, and they do chink off the last wound of a Terminator and injure the sergeant mm -hmm. as well. So two Predators and two Terminators. Surely you're not going to fire eight, eight lads. Eight lads cannons sounds like really? to do it, doesn't it? At just two guys? Yeah, two. I can't split fire. Well, there's other targets down there. There is. But Leave Idle on alone. What's he ever done to you? It's so much. I'm not going to shroud. I don't think it will help me very much unless you roll really badly. And that's six hits. And then twos to wound. Two wounds. Oh. And that is four wounds. Maybe I should have shrouded. Yeah, really? <laughs> But uh, one of the things I learned, a big thank you to YouTube. I hadn't actually, the fact hadn't come out when the last time we did our thing. Okay. Now the fact's out. So you have to declare, you have to declare before. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, five up and vulnerable save on the sergeant. He's dead. Right. Idle on. <laughs> it needs to make three, four plus iron halo saves. That sounds doable. Or he gets cut in half. Idle on gets cut in the half. And that is Slay the Warlord. Yes. So now the central streets are cleared. We're looking at the Sakaar and Punisher firing straight through at the tactical squad. We've only got three scoring units each. So starting chipping away at these targets is ideal. Yeah. Heavy Bolter coming in hot on threes. Not so hot, only one hit. That's not <laughs> clever, was it? And it wounds. Artificer. He's okay. Just the auto cannon. Threes. And that is six hits. And these wound. On twos. No breed. Okay, Artificer again, I think. Uh, two up, two up, two up. I'm okay. Oh. Now you've got two Laz Cannons. These won't go on the Artificer, because you can do that. Can you? You don't yeah. wish you've started declaring yet? There's a thing. Let me check the thing. Yeah, this has come up before. Characters and wound allocation. Sergeant is a character. When allocating wounds to a player, they always choose to not allocate wounds to a model with a character, regardless of how many wounds it's already lost. Okay. So you can actually switch between our So even and... once he's taken a wound? Yeah. So if it's a yeah, yeah. multi-wound character? Or any other factors that would normally require it to have wounds allocated to it, so long as there is at least one other valid target. Okay, so you could literally tank... If you've got a three-wound character in the unit, you could tank wounds on his artificer until yes. he's up two, yes. and then swap back to killing the normal guys it's... and leave in there and I've only learned it recently. Yeah, I'd not realised that. It's strong. I, I assume, it is, isn't it? Once I assume once you've started wounding him, you have to just finish him off. No, two last cannons. Both of them miss anyway, <laughs> so that's all a bit of a mute point. So yeah. the Sakaran didn't injure didn't any nothing. tactical marines. No. Interesting. Okay, so that's that for that's there. We have that. a land raider in the middle of the battle grid, shooting straight up the street. Land raider on land raider action. Four Laz Cannons, not twin linked, they all hit. And then the one in the turret, which is twin linked, single shot. single shot, it's not Gravis. Everything hits. Five's to glance, six is pen. I am shrouding this, by the way, I declared off camera. Uh, you can re roll them yes. and that if you want to with no, Sunder. Okay, so a glance and a pen. There are intervening models. Glance, pen, no. And then I need to shroud. Glance, yes. Pen, no. The penetrating hit gets through and will blow it up on a six. That's a two. It doesn't blow up. It shakes the vehicle, but it's got reinforced hull. So basically, it just takes a hull point. So after the Land Raider gets shaken and not stirred, the Spartan is going to fire all its guns into the Contemptor. 
five twin link last cannon shots on three oh, so really twin rolling. Link. Oh, they're not that only bulky, two then. hits, uh... two's to wound, two wounds, invulnerable saves. You take a wound, wound. only that one wound off the contemptor. It was so we move further down the street to the Sakaran Arcus, putting its missile launcher shots straight down into the veterans. Five shots, twin linked. And four of them hit. It's a wound on twos at strength eight AP two. Okay, so uh, that's four. I'll put it on the guys on the other side of the barricade. Okay. Um, this will only be six as it's not a ruin. You wipe out four nice. of them. And then there is 12 heavy box shots coming in as well because all of these instant kill me. Yep. Yes, threes to hit. Threes to wound. Churning up this unit right in front. Six three up saves. Another one gets injured, but they do have two wounds each. Yeah. And finally, we have five snap firing missile launchers trying to hit my Laz Cannon squad. The, the Devastators that regrouped on Get sixes. Crack. There's some crack. Don't get some crack. Crack is bad. Unless it's a missile, then it's lovely. And it no. doesn't even wound. And that is the end of the shooting phase. So I've got some morale to take. This unit of veterans got absolutely lit up. Their leadership A, even without the sergeant. And they managed to hold. And I think that was it. Because the other unit yeah. that you nailed, I mean, you basically got two kill points there for taking out the Terminators and yeah. the Eidolon. So we have some charges. We do. In the middle of the battle grid. I'd like to counter charge you using my once per battle strap, but I'm already locked up. So oh, I can't yeah. charge you. Can't. Oh. Yes, so I now we charge. Rampages into Palantine Blades. And that's an eight inch charge. Corn wants it. A, well, not corn yet. Charge. You're loyalists. Loyal. Yes, ten Loyal, inch. But it's still a so ten it's inch. not an eight inch charge. There's nothing to do with corn. It's 10 ten. inches. Yeah. Yes. Games. Yes. And this time I'm going to remember that you're minus one to hit me in the first round of combat. Okay. Because I have Sonic Shriekers in that squad and I just got charged. Can you shoot them? Do they work even though you're already engaged? I think so. Let me double check. Turns out Sonic Shriekers do work even if I'm locked in combat. Are there any challenges going on? I think on? my Berserkers... Can they issue challenges? No, we've got to check this now. They can receive challenges. Can they issue challenges? Yeah. If yeah. you've got Chosen Warriors as a thing. I have Chosen Warriors, yes. Okay, so you're challenging me. I'll, I'll accept challenge. with one of my little dudes. Oh, I didn't think that. Because they've all got Chosen Warriors as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then my Praetor at initiative six will strike out not against the Red Butcher, but against the Rampages. Okay. And I'm going to hit you on threes, and it's Master Crafted, and it is strength six. And that's an instant death, which will kill one. Yeah. And that's a. Well, you can tank it on Artificer. I've got an Artificer, so we might as well. Okay. He's okay. Loves it. Right. Then we're at initiative four. Everything else is happening at initiative four. Now, I can... You hit me on fives. Yeah. Because of Sonic Shriekers. I could make you hit on six and drop attacks. Yeah. But I'm almost thinking like I want them all to die so I can shoot at the unit. Right. Got you. But let's do the skill and match thing because it's cool. <laughs> so I will lose an attack from all of my guys. Yeah. And your guys are going to hit me on sixes. Okay. Not bothering about the Red Butcher anymore. He's fearless. Your other unit is stubborn. So here's all my... I've lost an attack with the two-handed bladed guys. They're going to hit you on fours. And they're going to wound you on a three. Yeah. So that wounds, but full armor. I'll do the other ones. And these are the dudes with the standard Charnable weapons. And these need fours to wound. Okay, so in the end, no breaching. Three full armor saves on the squad. Right, then you've got 11 guys with a pair of phalanx blades, yeah. three attacks with the paired weapons, Yeah. five attacks on the charge. Because of world eaters. How many guys in there? 11. 11. And a sergeant. No, it's including the sergeant. Including the sergeant. So this is 56 attacks back, very world eatery, hitting on sixes. You got them all. Nearly. The Empress children lock together, perfect defensive stance. Let's see if you can get any sixes. That okay. looks really easy. Drop, drop dice might count this dice. Yeah. yeah. Did any of my... Look, one of my purple dice betrayed oh. me. 15 hits came through, which rend on fours. So it'll ignore my armor. Oh, no. Six wounds. Kills three of them. They have two wounds each. Yeah. Now the Red Butcher. 
And I just checked the rule for Sonic Shrieker, so it's during the turn that they charged. Yeah. Everything's minus one to hit, so he's hitting on sixes as well. And he hits once, and he'll... That's a wound. And at the end of that combat, you lost three wounds. I lost seven wounds. Yeah. So that is a difference of four. Okay. They're not stubborn. And um, leadership 10 minus four is a six. So I need six or less. Well, you could sweep the whole squad. Oh, dear. <laughs> they fail morale. My initiative is higher than you, though. I'm yes, initiative five with a Praetor. That's a six. Oh. And that's a five. You just needed a three. Come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so the rampages come Don't charging. Don't get wrong with the second in. guy as well. No, it's just, just the them. highest initiative okay. in the Let's squad. Units. Also, the thing about him is in cataphracty armor, oh, so and they can't sweep in advance. Right. Yep. So instead, I fall back four inches. So the Palantine blades back down from combat and kind of roadblock the other stuff that wants to get in there to the rampager squads. Yeah. We've still got one more combat to resolve, however. Contempt of Dreadnought yeah. versus the rampagers with the meteoric hammers. And the hammers will hit on fours. And that's good hitting text. Nine. Uh, that's a lot of sixes. Out of ten. Fives to wound, but it breaches. Uh, wound. <laughs> I use my sixes I in the wrong say, place. The dreadnought stands to two remaining. Uh, then you've got the chain axe on your apothecary. So it's three attacks. Three attacks now. And he hits twice. He needs sixes to glance with the re-roll. No. Okay. So you do a wound to me. Yeah. I'm going to hit you back. Yeah. I hit you once. I will kill one on a two. One dice. One dice. You fail that combat. You've got to make a leadership test, but no minuses because you are stubborn. Yeah. Rampage is a leadership eight. Don't roll higher than an eight. You we're don't. We're good. We're good. And that combat is locked up. And that's the end of turn two. And in typical Horus Heresy fashion, Loads of stuff is dying. <laughs> it's looking thinner. Things are looking thinner all across this battle grid. Over on this flank, I've got a rhino, but it's not an assault vehicle, so I can't get out of it and do something to the Arcus down here, the Sakaran missile tank. In the middle, I do have some vets left, and I can tempt a dreadnought. And there is a unit inside this rhino down here. Yeah. Both of your Spartan and Land Raiders are now empty, but I do have another veteran squad hidden inside this one here. Yeah. And the one in front isn't stunned anymore. No. It can move. You just shook it, which doesn't count. But if I do move this forward to get them out, I'm not sure how many I could feed into close combat. However, when I regroup, if I regroup, I can move up to my initiative and move them out of the way. Ah, cunning. So I need a 10. Uh, that's a six. That is a regroup. So I think I can move them out of the way and go try and go charging in to you. Then down this flank, where you killed all my Terminators and Eidolon, killing the Warlord. And now that was two turns of Laz Cannons in. What I'm worried about is in turn three, all of those Laz Cannons will have different targets to pick on. So let's find out how the Emperor's children manage to respond in turn three. Okay, here we are after the Empress Children movement phase. Some shenanigans in the middle happened. So I regrouped. You did. And when you regroup, you're allowed to move up to your initiative, which got me within two inches of the embarkation hatch of that land raider. So I embarked in it and we checked and double checked the rules so we can't find anything that says that you can't embark in a vehicle when no. you regroup. We're, we're, we're so fairly sure on that. So passed the regroup test and moved into land raider. Land raider moved out the way. Squadron moved forward, second unit of vets got out and are now going to counter charge yep. your rampages. Yep. And you've done your charge me strap. Yeah. It's so going to shoot me anyways. Gonna, yeah, there's going to be some shots coming that way. When I did all of this as well, um, you pivoted and moved your Spartan. No. Why are you pivoting and moving Spartan? To get it out of the way of the big gun. Yeah, out of the way of the big gun and to put his flare shielded front facing armour towards whatever what I thought you were going to shoot me with, with, with over here. Okay, so moving out of where the big gun met, when the big gun moved around the Cerberus, I've moved it around this way to try and get rid of that Sakaran on that flank. Yeah. However, by putting it here, I completely blocked off my last cannon team to all shots. <laughs> yeah. So they've ran. They've ran up here. They're on this ruin. They're only going to be firing snap fire. They are in harm's way. 
but they can return fire. Vehicles can only return fire with defensive weapons, but they can re- they're troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can return fire with all their last cannons. On this flank, Rhino with some troops in it. Veterans going after your troops in a Rhino down there. I can maybe glance the back of that Rhino to death. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> And then down this side of the battle grid with the Cacophony and my troops. The Cacophony can move around. They've got lots of range. But this unit stays still because with Heart of the Legion, I've got 20 shots. Or Fury of the Legion. One is Heart of the Legion, one is Fury of the Legion. Keep getting those two confused. But basically extra shots when they stand still are coming into your Praetor's unit. Yep. So let's start that. Fury of the Legion, 20 shots. Threes to hit. Fours to wound the tactical squad. Nine saves, James, on the World Eaters. Two up. Okay, Artificer. Two up. Yes. Two up. He's still alive. Two up. He now oh, he's, dead. he's dead. So five Seven. more three up saves. And in the end, I kill two in the squad. Yeah. And now the Cacophony are going to open fire. I was going to roll them all together then. Look, I count with them and everything. And it all gets hot. Oh. Did it off camera. I lost one. Two's to wound you with all Masonic stuff. 19 saves to make, and you're going to start tanking it on the Artificer on your Praetor. Yeah. Because as we just discovered, you can, once you can start allocating wounds... We can drop them back yes. down afterwards. So There's like, some shenanigans don't have to there. just let him die. No. And stop when we get to one, yes. and then go to the unit. <laughs> He's okay. He's still okay. He's still okay. He's doing well. He's ducking and covering. He takes oh, two, wounds. two wounds. He's on one wound remaining. Right, so now at that point, we ought to start sh- taking them on the normal guys. Okay. So two, four, six. There's eight guys. Eight guys. Here we go. I'm just throwing the dice over that way. And another four of them bite the dust. What now? So that killed four of them, didn't it? Yeah. And then there's the three more to roll. Oh. I didn't want to roll all of them. Okay. Because they could have ended up on him. Okay. Been. So this is just now on the remaining four guys. There are, so there's four left. Then you take a pinning test. You've got your Praetor in there. It's leadership 10. On the plus side, James from March of War. Could it UK? It would have killed your Praetor. It would have well and truly murdered the I'd Praetor. Put everything into him. Right. Talking about not putting everything into everything. I've got land raiders in a target rich environment here. Yeah. So this front land raider is going to fire at your Predator squadron. Yeah. And the multi-melter is in multi-melt range is going to hit your Spartan. Yep. Yeah. The back one is going to fire everything at that Land Raider. Yep. So you're shrouding the Land Raider. Shrouding the Land Raider. Yes. Okay, so we'll leave that as the cherry on the cake. We'll start with a multi-melter shot into the front armor of the Spartan, which misses, but it is twin-linked and it hits. Armor Bane Rage. You ready for this? 8 yes. plus 2d6. Uh, that's a penetrating hit. There are intervening models. You get a 6-up save. And you make the 6. I think the intervening model ought to get melted, but... (laughs) Okay. Uh, Right. Then we'll do the back one into Spartan. Here's the multi-melter, which hits and doesn't pen. Here's the four LAS cannons, which aren't twin-linked, and the one that is twin-linked, twin-linked. So three hits into Land Raider. Yeah. Five's glance. Six is pen. Sunder. You get a glancing hit, which you can get a six-up save for. No, no, this six up city doesn't. That one's uninjured, right? Yeah. So that one's still on five left. Okay, and then we have five Lance Cannon cut shots coming into the Predator Squadron. Non twin link. And then. <laughs> non twin link shots. This is the twin link shot rolling to hit. And then. <laughs> uh, front armor of a Predator. I think like it's 13. <laughs> I think it's 13. So I think that glances. This one definitely doesn't. A glance and three pens. There are models in between that whole unit and this unit. So you get sixes. Uh, you have to do them separately. One glance and then three pens. Okay. So one glance comes through and two pens. Have to do the pen separately because if I roll a six, one blows up. If I roll another six, the oh, second one blows the up. next one blows up. Yeah. Do you like it? No. Well, you're good at rolling sixes. Let's I see am. if I could roll a six. I bet you can. No. That is just a weapon destroyed and a weapon destroyed. Cool. So you have to apply the, all that to one of the models. So I've now got one that's missing its side last count. Yeah, so basically. pick one of them and it's down to one hull point left and it's got a sponsoon las cannon on it and that's it. Yeah. All the other guns have been mangled. Uh, yeah, tell a lie. The sponsoons are separate weapon systems. So it's got a turret, 
but the side ones have been blown oh. off. Okay, um, we did the Land Raider into... That's it, that's yeah, it. That was the squadron that has done all of its shots and things. Okay, well, let's snap fire, then. My last cannons at those Predators, I think. Okay. They are in range of those Predators, but if I could tickle the last wound off, it would be nice. Sixes, I get three sixes. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, fours glance. Nothing glances yet. Sunder. One pen, one six up save. Okay, so that injured one with the turret is dead. Yeah. Does it blow? It doesn't blow. To be fair, at least it's the back one. If it was the front one, it'd be a bit <laughs> of trap. Big guns, big guns. Fired all of these. Fired, they can't fire. Oh yeah, the Cerberus super heavy tank. Left sponsoon obviously can't see the uh, Arcus, but the center gun can. The center line mounted neutron laser destructor is going into this. It's going to melt its face. Freeze. It gets hot. It takes a wound. <laughs> Down you go. Strength 10, front armor 13, ordnance. So roll 2d6, pick the highest. That's a penetrating hit. And a penetrating hit. And a penetrating hit. James. Yeah. I can see 100% of your front armor. Okay. No cover. No cover. AP1. Uh-oh. Kaboom, boom. Bang. Hopefully it's a small explosion because my guys are quite oh, close. roll a big number. How about a three? Nah, that's not enough. With the explosion from the Sakaar, and that is the end of the Empress Children's shooting phase. Two vehicles out of the fight this turn. Now we're going to do some charges. We're going to start over here with this unit of veterans charging your yep. rhino. Can I reverse? Uh, no, you can't <laughs> reverse. And that will be a six-inch charge with terrain when you make the charge. Yeah. Right, so the veterans end up here. Now, the interesting thing is I can't kill it because you killed my sergeant with the metal bombs. Yeah. But the other interesting thing is it's Horus Heresy, you're never locked up. So I can just drive away. You can just drive away. Um, we do have another charge, though. Would you like to overwatch or make me disordered or something? I would. Yes. Because the veterans the, are going to go yes. charging in. They've got no guns, so I'm going to have to disorder you. Okay. Leadership your Pate morale check. Which you pass. Basically, you make me disordered. I lose an attack, the extra attack you get on the charge. Then roll my charge. One minute. I forgot to fire the two melter guns. I'm going to fire them oh, now yeah, at the end yeah, of the shoot it. phase. Uh, normally, uh, yeah, I can fire these two melter guns. Threes to hit. I hit your boot two times. I'm going to kill on twos. They're yeah. melters at point blank range. Right, I wipe out two of them. Then we charge. I'm not going to fire the pistols. And the Emperor's children attack. I count as initiative five. I swung the butts of those melter guns in first and did no damage. Here's the remaining lightning claws. Of course, losing attacks for making me disordered. But uh, weapon skill 5 versus 5, Probably. and these, these don't have any of the shenanigans that those other elite yeah, units do. So we're God. just <laughs> hitting on force. James, I hit you like a thousand times. Yeet, I saw. Force to win. Yes! I got shred. I got no! shred. I got shred. Uh, that was like 50% once. Oh, that now doesn't help. 50% two. Right. These are AP3. Those are AP2. Okay, so the AP2s go straight through then, don't they? Yes. Okay, so that's three dead guard. Air uh, wounds. Single three wound. wounds. Yeah. And then two, four, six, seven. Yes. Seven, three up saves, yes. Well, what you can do is you can kill a guy and put a wound on another guy. And then for one of them, yeah. kill another guy. Okay. So that's two dead guys. Yeah. With these you could start tanking an artificer. Hmm. Ah, cunning. So only two dead guys yet. Do I need to yet. kill the guy? Uh, yeah, because he's already received the wound and he's not a character, not a character. so it must go on a hand when it's AP3. Yeah. No, so two are dead and then six, six artificer saves and they've got two wounds each. Okay. So he's alive. He's alive. He's now dead. he's dead. Okay, <laughs> so I kill three. One yeah. of them is your sergeant, yeah. but they're stubborn anyway. Yeah. I have got a hammer in that squad, which will swing last. Okay. Now, there's six Rampages left, and because they didn't charge, yeah. they've got 18 attacks. And while my camera's here, I just remembered I didn't charge with the Contemptor either into second Rampager squad. He makes charge. He's in there. Right, okay. <laughs> 18 attacks, hitting on fours with your Phalanx Blades, basically machetes. And you hit pretty well as well. Right, fours will ignore my armor, no saves. That's hard. And you only kill one. And injure another one. Then there's the guy with the axe. And he hits on fours. 
This is AP2, uh, sorry, initiative one AP2. That kills, uh, that injures another guy. Yeah. And then my hammer. I know it's disordered. So one is on a wound. Hammer hits you on fours and misses. And despite all the damage I did to you, your leadership eight's stubborn. Roll eight or less on 2d6. You do. We're locked up. Then we'll come on to combat number two. Contemptors versus Rampager squad number two. Now, with your meteoric hammers, you're at initiative five. I'm also at initiative five, five with a general that charged in first. So you've got eight guys that can hit the wounded one on two wounds remaining. Try and take him out. Four's to hit. And that is four hits. It's 50-50. Five's to wound, but it will breach. One wound. Invulnerable save. Oh. And make... The invulnerable no, save. Three rubbishy attacks. Well, before oh, you no, go... You, you're before him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Before you go with your dude, my mm. contemptor gets to hit you on fours. He hits every single time. Yeah. He will kill rampages on twos. Yeah. He's a dreadnought. He slaughters three of them. That leaves two remaining in that squad with the apothecary. Then the apothecary re uh, revved his chain axe and didn't do any wounds. And now my last contemptor gets to strike out. And he will hit on fours, and he hits three times. He'll wound on twos. And that's the Kills squad. The Apothecary yeah. and the second squad of Rampages get wiped out. And I consolidate forward closer to the side of that empty Spartan. Now we're coming around here to the last combat. There is another combat. So many combats. Veterans hitting a Rhino. Yep. Vehicles, countless weapons kill one. So actually hit on twos. And when you fight vehicles, all the attacks count as rear armor, which is 10. Yeah. I'm strength four. I need sixes. I'll put two glancing hits on it. Okay. It's on one hull point left, but it's not out of the fight. And that is the end of the Traitors Empress Children Force in turn three. Idle on their warlord has been wiped out down this end of the battle grid. But down the rest of the battle grid, the second in command is rallying the troops. Over here, the Praetor of the World Eaters need to pass a leadership 10 test. We forgot to do it in the shooting phase. And he manages to do it, so he doesn't fall back. He's free to run off and do things. And there's still a lot of Laz cannons down here. But uh, in the middle, the rampages are locked up with the veterans. There is a Red Butcher behind, and both of the tanks in the middle are still very much combat effective. Down on the left flank, two Contemptor Dreadnoughts are now free and rampaging, going straight towards those Devastators, I feel. But so far, all the remaining troop choices that can score these objectives are still on this battle grid. Remember, you get a point for killing more, a point for killing the Warlord, so technically you're in the lead right now. Maybe. You've killed quite a lot of units. But each of these objectives could be worth zero, one, or three points in this war of lies. Yeah. So we don't really know who wins until we get to turn six. And we're a long way from that. We're in the thick, in the meat, and the blood of the battle. In World Eaters turn three. In the World Eaters turn, the unit in the Rhino that got assaulted by the veterans have jumped out after the Rhino reserved and the bike regrouped. Yeah. So there's going to be some snap firing shots in from the bike there, but all of these guys really need to nail those veterans. Otherwise, those veterans could be a problem. You're going to make a mess of them. A couple of models in the Devastator squad yeah, have moved. Two guys move around. So they'll be snap firing, and then you have a dreadnought problem in the middle of the battle grid. So what are you doing about the dreadnought problem? Yeah, just put lots of las cannons into them. How many las cannons you got this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, fifteen, thirty. Loads. Loads, loads of las, las cannons. cannons. The javelin speed is zipping around, not becoming immobilized. This unit back here with the Praetor decided to make a run for it. Yep. There is an objective over here. Mm -hmm. And it is turn three. The game goes on to turn six. So they can get there easily Definitely. if they don't get lit up by the rest of the game. The Rhino has busted forward the Scar and moving to get shots up the battle grid. And it looks like the Predator that got lit up by the Land Raider wants to return fire into my Land Raider. Yes, he does. So we're going to start with the Predator. I'm not shrouding. We have four Lance Cannon shots into the front of the Land Raider. And they all hit. Five's glance, six is pen. And that's two glancing hits with Sundering. That's three glancing hits. There is no cover in between me and you. That is a dead Land Raider. Ooh. My Praetor's unit get out and on a 10, more than 10, they're pinned. They're not pinned. 
So the Land Raiders are wreck. It's just a lovely piece of scenery right now. The guys disembark from that side because there's a Red Butcher there that wants to potentially charge them. Uh, so now you've decided to shoot at them with the Sakaran. Yes. Fortunately, only the right Swanson is going to hit them with the Laz Cannon. Yep. But the big gun on top, which didn't even wound a tactical squad. Yeah. Hopefully you'll roll some sixes now. It ends on a six. Right. So you're going to fire at my elite squad with the Sakaar and Punisher. And the last yeah, kind of misses. Of course it does. <laughs> Eight shots with the Accelerator Auto Cannon. Hits on threes. And wounds on twos. And no sixes again. So full Artificer save. One takes a wound. One was injured, so and one dies. There is a heavy bolter. There is a heavy bolter. Four which shots. is four shots. And it hits twice. It will wound on threes. It wounds twice, and uh, just He's one fine. casualty in total. Moving down the line, the land speeder squadron is firing everything at the dreadnought. On five wounds remaining, here's the las cannons, which hit Not on like threes, that. and only two hit. Two's to wound, one wound. Sunder. No, Sunder no. only works on vehicles. On vehicles. Uh, I fail the save. It does take a wound. Then the heavy bolters fired in and didn't force any more wounds on that contemptor. It's still on four wounds left for now because the Spartan is firing everything at it. Las cannons. Five shots, twin link? Yes. Uh, you don't even don't need, need the, the twin linked. Link. They all hit. Two's to wound. Uh, I see four wounds. It's got four wounds remaining. I need to pass an invulnerable save. I pass one invulnerable save. It's on one wound one left. Wound left. So a Contemptor on two wounds, a Contemptor on one wound. You have got the Missile Launcher team there, but they're AP3. Yeah, so and my armor is two. It doesn't be equal or beat so my armor value. Which two up saves. I will be getting two up saves. And there's only five of them that are shooting well. Yes. That yes. Land Rider can split fire, though. And it, it always can, works. It always works. You know, it's funny how you should say, I'd completely forgotten that I could split fire with yeah. it. Yeah. It's Power like, of the machine spirit. I could shoot all of it at one of them and maybe kill it. You or got, yes. So it split it all over the place and definitely not kill either of them. No, no, no. You've got five last kind of shots. There's three wounds to get through. Totally. What could possibly go Nothing wrong? Can go wrong. Let's split fire then. Okay. So we're going to put... <laughs> You're on uh, such a roll. So we're going to put... Uh, uh, the two... Right. Two twin linked into the... Two. Guy on two. Is that right? Wrong the ones around. on the sponsors are not twin linked. They're Gravis. The one in the middle is a single shot twin link. I always think it's the other way around. So one twin linked into the guy with one wound, okay. the other's into the other one. Okay, and one. center line. I think this... Mm, Can't see. Can it? Go on, you have to measure from the no, thing. Go on, then, then, so yeah, that one, because the center line really has to that. hit that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and that one has to hit. The twin link one can hit okay, this. Go on, then, let's do that. Twin link one can hit the one and two wounds. So you can't kill them both. But four lads could kill that one. Mm, yes. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So the twin linked one is going into the one on two wounds. Yes. It hits. It wounds. It wounds. Just. I failed to save. It's on one wound. wound. And then... Four non-twin linked. Four non-twin linked. Did you measure from the centre of the yeah, thing? Yeah, I got what you meant. I, when you were doing it, I was like, I don't get it. Everything hits. Everything wounds. Everything wounds. I need to make four fives. I don't make four fives. Dead Dreadnought. It blows up. One inch. It'll hit the one next to it and wounds it. And it makes it armor save. Two Contemptors down, one remaining on one moon remaining, Missile Launcher, Devastator team remaining. What are you doing with them? It's not worth putting them into that Dreadnought. They're going to go into the last cannons. Okay. So are five, you sure? I'm sure. Five of them hitting... I am going to do my action. Oh, you can return fire! I'm going to return fire. Think of that. Ah. Okay. Do I get to shoot first, though? Yes. Five so five at full weapon skill. Okay. And then two hitting on sixes. No. All right. You're going to be wounding. On twos. You wound four of them. I have cover saves. I'm in a ruin. Yeah. Only two die. Two in my squad died. Six can see and can fire back. And two of them miss. Can I shrap? Nope, you can't. I'm a no, reaction. reaction can't yeah. react, react, reaction. Yeah. And I'll kill you on twos. I kill three of yours. That's a bit of a crossfire there. It was, wasn't it? You kill three of, two of mine, I kill three of yours. Last thing left to fire, we come down here to the tactical marines. Before they fired in, we did it off camera, the rhinos and the snap firing biker firing everything at the five marines. And there's four left. Yeah. Because you killed one. Not Put well. one down to one wound. So now the 20 shots from the tactical marines 
Point blank range. Threes to hit. That looks like loads of ones and It twos. looks like they're scared to me. Or world eaters. I'm not used to using guns very much. Well, they use them for like, beating people to death. Okay. <gasps> is that four wounds? That is four wounds. That is four wounds. And only one died in that shooting attack. Uh. And that is not enough to force 25% casualties. They could be in trouble. My Devastators, however, will need to take a leadership test. There's an Armistos in there. Yeah. A leadership nine. Okay. And a hold. <laughs> I need to take a leadership test then, don't I? With my uh, no, you Devi. don't take a leadership test as a result of getting hit by reactions. Okay, cool. So your Devastators are okay. That is the end of the shooting phase. It is. We have a Red Butcher going in. Do you want to hit the Palantine Blades or do you want to hit the Veteran Squad right in front? Um, I would the hit guys the Veteran. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you can't fail the charge because you have plus two to charge yeah. and they right. go flying in. Of course, you must charge where possible, but none of this can charge. Can the bike? It's just it. No, it regrouped. So interestingly, we've got one big combat to resolve down here. Yeah. Everyone's initiative four, except for your Red Butcher at initiative one and my sergeant at initiative one. 18 attacks, putting on fours. You have a scary number of attacks. Fours will wound and ignore my armor. You kill the melter and the axe guy, ones on one wound. Then I get to fight back. I'm going to ignore the red butcher for now. Okay. And there's still six fellas there with lightning claws, which will hit you on fours and will kill on fours. Re rolling due to shred. That's painful. One, two, three of your guys go. One takes a wound. And there was one already injured, so four go. Then my hammer hits you once and kills another. Leaving one Rampager left. Then the Red Butcher strikes. Red Butcher Devourer. Five attacks on the charge. And he re-rolls to hit because he hates everything. And he'll kill on twos. And one of them was injured, so that kills the injured guy and another. Another one. So I lost seven wounds. You lost nine wounds. Yeah. Um, I can't sweep in advance you, however, because I'm locked up with a fearless unit, the Red yep. Butcher. But you could break morale on a leadership eight stubborn. And he does. he does. The last Rampager decides to fall back eight, eight. inches. Corn wants it, but he'll fall back successfully from the combat. And that's the end of World Eaters turn four. They're strong on this flank. They've wiped out a land raider. They've wiped out one of the contemptors and one's left on one wound remaining. However, my Palantine Blade squad now are free to rampage around and do some things and potentially wipe out that last red butcher. I'm still scared about the amount of firepower on this flank. But I have got four veterans over here that are going to come towards this troop unit and hopefully wipe them out. In Empress Children, turn five. Okay, we're in turn four, not turn five. It's just been that brutal. And down in this corner, the veteran squad are going to try and remove this tactical squad down here. Behind them is another tactical squad in a rhino, just chugging over with his engine. There's an objective there. I want to take that one by the end of the game. The dreadnought on one wound left has got an armor bane range of that Spartan. And then my second in command. Being the heroic traitor that he is, part of Eidolon's force, that decided to jump back inside that mobile bunker, a.k.a. a land raider. <laughs> nice. I could go charging in to take out that red butcher, but I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but you still have a lot of las cannons. <laughs> and then I'm going to lose all of my veteran squads in the middle of the table next to the crossroads. And I think this veteran squad have got it. He's initiative one. Mahama's initiative one. He might kill a couple, but I, I, sh I think I should get that. And talking about jumping back inside vehicles, the tactical squad on this front flank as well jumped back inside that vehicle. There's nothing for them to shoot at. But the Cacophony have shuffled round, and their rhinos over there, to try and get some shots up at these speeders. Their weaponry, their sonic shriekers are strength six. Speeders are strength six. Toughness six. Then I roll it all off camera because it gets hotting and I kill two of my own guys. I'm doing well working your way through those. You've, you've killed four of them all so far. I'm doing really well. Uh, six wounds came through on your speeders. Six three up saves. Six three up saves. And you only take a wound. They're four wounds each. And talking about killing Cacophony, two things. One, javelins can't be pinned. Yep. They're cavalry. Cavalry can't be pinned. And you can return fire. I can't, re I can't return so fire. So here's the last cannons. And four of them hit. 
they will wound on twos. Two of them wound, three of them wound, I'm in a ruin. And three of my guys die. Then the heavy bolters hit on threes. I've got to get me some javelins. They're good, aren't they? Maybe for the Raven Guard. I think the Raven Guard deserves some javelins. It's found five next, mate. <laughs> be fine. Threes to wound. Three up saves. Ooh, that's the entire squad wiped out. The nice. best return fire action yeah. of the game. Well, we can't be having any more of that because I've lined up the Land Raider to shoot at them. Okay? Yeah. So Land Raider shots coming in hot. Non-twin linked LAS cannon. Two of them hit. Twin linked LAS cannon. Twin linked. Only hits twice with the LAS cannons. Will wound. That's two wounds. Two six up saves. Takes a wound. Multi melter hits. Wounds. Another six up save. So one is down to one wound remaining. Still haven't killed it yet. Interesting. Uh, right in front of your Spartan. I've got two melters in those fists. Yep. Let's try and melt it to death on twos. They both hit. This is armor bane. Strength eight plus two d6. Pens the front of the Spartan and doesn't pen the front of the Spartan. So that's one penetrating hit. Into Spartan, no cover, AP1, 5-6 will blow it up. And there's a 6. Oh. That's a dead Spartan, and it blows up 5 Fine. inches. It'll hit my Dreadnought, and doesn't wound it. It'll hit your Rampager, and doesn't wound it. And I think it hits it, all it, three of your speeders. Yeah. <laughs> and only wounds them twice. Yeah. But they get full 3-up saves, but one is on one wound. And in the explosion, one of the speeders gets taken out. Take. Now, the interesting thing about javelins is they do have a leadership, and oh. that was 25%. Uh-oh. But we'll come back to that. <laughs> now? Okay. Are you, you going to shoot them more? No, I'm not going to shoot them more. So you, now. Leadership eight, or they fall back. They don't fall back. That's okay. Because uh, they're perilously close to the table. They are. Right. The big gun of doom on the Cerberus is firing at your land raider. You shoot, all... shoot, shoot, shoot No, I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to shoot them. No. You want to shoot them? No, I'm going to shoot the Land Raider. Let's get yeah. rid of your big armour on threes. I get hot three oh, times. Yeah! That's... The gun is overcooking. It's down to one whole <laughs> point remaining. I've made a really good way of chewing through that as well. <laughs> Just keep throwing ourselves at us it till it explodes. You've done five hull points to my Cerberus. Yeah. Yeah, great shooting there. Nice work. Uh, ordnance. Um, do you know what that means? What? It's got feedback. Okay. So... so because I didn't get through yeah. on a one, it'll die. Oh, it feels like you're going to roll a one. Nine times out of ten, mate. Ah! No. <laughs> uh, two last cannons, however. They both hit. With Sunder. And that's one penetrating hit. There is intervening stuff. I can't see 100% of the front armour, so you do get a six-up save. And that's not a six. This could blow it up. A humble last cannon. Five becomes a six because it's AP2. That's an immobilized result. I blew the tracks off. It's locked in place, but it's still in the fight. You've done your reaction in the shooting phase. And those missile launchers have been proving a problem. So let's fire six last cannons at them. Hitting on twos and killing on twos. And your Devastator squad don't get wiped out. There's oh. still one on one wound remaining. And that's the last of the shooting attacks from the Emperor's Children in turn four. We have one charge down here with my veterans into your tactical marines and your overwatching. Yeah. And here's all the wounds that came through on overwatch. One of my guys was injured, so he dies. Another one dies. Another one dies. So there were four vets die. there. Only one makes close combat. Wow. That one veteran with a charnable blade, however, has four attacks and he hits on threes. He's a vet. He hits three times. Okay. Strength four, toughness four, wound on fours, but fives will kill you. Yep. They breach. Kills one and two armor saves. Just kills one. Now the tactical marines can fight back and there is a sergeant in that squad with a power fist. With a power fist. You pile in at initiative four, and you've got eight attacks back. Hitting on fives, though. My weapon skill is better than yours. And you still get two hits through. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. Two three-up saves. 
He's okay. And then two attacks with your sergeant with a power fist on fives. And he misses. You know what that means, James? You Leadership lost the combat by one. And I... So leadership seven. Will one veteran sweep an entire squad? No, he's not allowed. That's a pass. No. They decide to stand firm and lock up together and surround him. They'll beat him to death next turn. <laughs> then we come over here to the second veteran squad, which are going to pile in and attack your Red Butcher. The Lightning Claws guys pile in. They hit you on threes because you always hit Red Butchers on threes. But they're ravening madmen. I wound on fives. They just don't feel the pain. But claws have shred. So I rerolled a wound. They're in vulnerable saves. They breach. So three, four ups. Three, four ups. Yeah. And he gets cut down. The veterans consolidate towards the last remaining rampager. The Emperor's children are crawling all over the crossroads and the world eaters have been pushed back to the right and to the left flank. But there's still a couple of turns to go as we go on to World Eaters, turn four. Here we are after turn four of the World Eaters movement phase. They're still looking strong on this flank with a lot of vehicles, with a lot of firepower. The Sakaran bust through the train. I'm amazed we haven't had an immobilized result yet on any of the vehicles, despite all the train on the table. Except for this Land Raider here who got shot and is now a bunker. But he's in a fire-free zone, left, right and all over the place. There is a lone Devastator with a missile launcher here. And what is the biker doing? You haven't even moved him. I haven't. Did I ought to move him? Well, Where did he ought to go? So you've moved him round. He's going to go charging in to this tactical squad and try and clear up that last veteran over there. Yep. So now we're going to go on to the shooting phase. Where is the fusillade of Laz Cannons going to start? We're starting all the way on the left flank with the last remaining Predator. It's got straight shots into the Land Raider. <sighs> Am I shrouding? It's my last wholesome... And my second in command... I'm going to shroud it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Because my last cannon team might get shots from somewhere and they'd really like to return fire. So yes. I'm not shrouding. Okay. Okay? So four last cannon shots into Land Raider. Hitting on threes. And three of them hit. You need fives to glance. Six is the pen. With Sunder, you can re-roll. And that's one glance. Two glances. There is six up saves. And it takes two glancing hits. It's on three hull points remaining. Moving down the line to tank number two, Sakaran, point blank range into my veterans. Two they can take counts. it. You're going to miss. I'm sure. I will. You hit both of the times. Yes. And you kill two of them. Four shots with a heavy bolter. Hits twice. Wounds once. And I fail that save as well, causing a wound. And then eight shots with the accelerator auto cannon. On threes and twos, sixes rend. Okay, one minute. You killed two and a half already. Three, four. Sergeant left with two up saves. Wow. Okay, maybe I should have shrouded. Everyone's dead except for the sergeant on one wound remaining. So, you've decided. I think I'm going to shoot a crack missile at the sergeant on the one wound remaining. The last devastator firing in missile to the head. No. Oh. Misses. <laughs> Now, that sergeant has got a hammer and melter bombs. So the immobilized land raider with the power of the machine spirit is going to fire two guns into it this way. The central shot is going into Contemptor. It's a front mounted. It's got a 90 degree. I, I was looking at you. Oh, at this lad, one. But, um, yeah. Okay. And then the left gun is I going. Just, I'm not going to shoot anything because I just really don't You want can shoot at the Sun Fury. Oh, good thing. Shoot at the Sun Fury. No. You're not going to shoot I've that gun. That one. Okay. <laughs> just leave him alone. So two shots. Laz Cannon into Sergeant. Threes to hit. Both Ooh. hit. Twos to kill. No intervening stuff. He gets blown up by a Laz Cannon. Got one. The front mounted one, which is not center line, can hit that Dreadnought. Oh no, it was no, going, going into, into the big it was going into, into the, the big, big Cerberus. Okay, yeah. yes. One shot twin linked. One shot twin linked. Twin linked. It hits. It's got a flare shield, you need a six. I can roll a six. You roll a six. Is there any anything in between yeah. me and you? Can you see hundred percent of the front armor? No. There's a six. There isn't a six. You do manage to wreck the Cerberus. The Cerberus is a smoking ruin. Now we have more Laz cannons. 
two javelins firing straight down into the last remaining contemptor on twos. And then... And then... We've been saying that all day. Why is it twos? Uh, threes. Oh, threes. Threes. It's awful. It just yeah. did really badly. One of them hits. I don't know why I said twos. You got me excited. Maybe because contemptors hit on twos. Yeah. One comes through. And that's a dead contemptor. And even if it blows up, it's too far away to injure anything. And then... And then, and then. <laughs> and then. Uh, um, I, can't I think shoot that's it. Combat. Yeah, they're running around the edge. This I is can't it. Can't dint a rhino, can I? No, you have a charge. I was gonna. I can't shoot the rhino. We well, you can, anything. but it won't do anything so to no the point. rhino. I'll charge. Okay, uh, you're in. I'm in. Okay, uh, we might as well do him first because he's a world eater, so he gets four attacks on the charge. It does. But you are hitting on fives because you're better. I am a veteran. That's one hit. I got one. Wounds on a four. Rerolling, it's a chainsaw, it's got shred. No. no. And now we're down to initiative four, and I attack at the same time as your eight dudes. Hitting on fives. Four of your dudes managed to land a punch on the veteran. That's not bad. Forced to wound him. Two of wounds come through. <gasps> He's on one wound remaining, and then he strikes back and hits once. And breaches once and kills one, so that combat is a draw. We're not locked up. There's a sergeant with a power fist. You can hit me back on a five. Two attacks. He is. Two attacks. He nope. misses. That combat's a draw. We're locked up. <laughs> that made a big difference. <laughs> that is the end of World Eater's turn four. We're on to turn five. This game earns on turn six. So in turn five, maneuver warfare is in effect as units spin around and try and cover as many objectives as they can. Okay, while my last veteran on one wound is holding up that tactical squad there, this tactical squad has disembarked from the Rhino and is trying to claim this objective. One of the advantages of going second in Horus Heresy, of course, is the World Eaters will have the last action of the game to try and deny me some of these. This big unit of 15 is camped on this one, and my second in command, Praetor, with the Palantine Blade Squad, well, the Land Raider is just going straight forward. It's got at combat speed. It can only fire one of its guns at full ballistic skill, but there's an objective behind that statue. And I'd very much like to interfere with your objective yeah. in your last turn, if at all don't possible. Don't interfere with my objective. <laughs> and then I've got an empty Rhino trying to shield out a bit from the... Do that. You can move your rhino instead, but it can't go this way because it won't be able to move within an inch. Trying to shield out that predator a little bit. And there's another squad inside this rhino here, camped on that one. Because you've yeah. got that. I know this is going to be a thing at the end uh, where the second turn will be powerful to try to get to this objective here. So let's try and kill as much as possible in the shooting phase. And we're going to do that. By firing the main gun at full ballistic skill, the multi-melter, sorry, mm -hmm. at the Sakaran. Okay. That side sponsoring is going to hit the Sakaran, but it's snap firing, and the front angle guns are going into Land Raider. Are you shrouding? No. Why not? Because you've got those las cans up there. Okay, I was trying to bait you out. <laughs> I did think it, and then I was like, maybe I should. Multi-melter hits. Armor bane range, front armor 13, is a penetrating hit. Obviously no cover at this range. 5-6 dead Sakaran. It's a 2. Instead that's a stunned Sakaran. So it's not moving and it's just snap firing next turn. This is big. Here's the Laz cannons on the side. They both miss. And then the ones going up the gut. Here's the twin linked one. Hits. And here's the ones that are just snap firing. I got one hit on that land raider in the backfield. Oh, and it's get, uh, I got a wound. Sunder does nothing. Okay, coming across to my Devastator team. We're going to fire at your Land Raider. Would you like to shroud? I think I should. <laughs> I think I will. Six Laz Cannon shots up the gut on twos. I need fives. And with Sunder, there's a reroll. And there that is, is two glance, one pen. You do get cover. Oh, six up. I can't see all of the thing. Here's the pens. No, here's the... No, so it's going to be on one hull point remaining if it doesn't blow up on a six. It doesn't blow up on a six, and it's stunned. So, well, it's already it's already not moving. It's, no it's on one hull point remaining. It can fire at full ballistic skill. That is it 
for my turn. Okay, we've got a little fight turn. down here. We have do. got a little fight down here. So we'll resolve this combat with the last remaining outrider, your tactical marines versus my veterans. You're Can I go first with my veterans? You're higher, are you anyway? Threes to hit. Fours to wound. Those breach and kill two. Five tactical marines fight back on fives and hit once and wound on a four. And wound and he's on one wound. Can he hold out? Yes, he can. It comes down to the biker with his two attacks hitting on fives for vengeance for his brothers. And he misses. And then the power fist. And then the power fist. Fives. Nope. No. You know what? We're still here. You lost that combat by two. Oh. You've got to take leadership tests. Leadership six on the tactical marines. No. They fail and fall back. Uh, can you, you can't sweep me. You're still locked. But I could run off the board. They fall back they eight inches. The yeah, they're, they're gone. Off. Now the biker. Yep, you resolve all the leaderships in the combat. Okay. He's good. And he holds. That one last... This is the veteran squad that charged his mates. He's yeah. like, he's back for vengeance. He's not going he's anywhere to him. That is the end of Emperor's Children Turn 5. I've camped myself on three objectives. I've managed to at least stop that Sakaran fighting this turn. And I have got rid of your only scoring option round on this flank. Yeah. You've got a lot of denial options, as said at the very start. Everything can deny on this battle grid except for the vehicles. As we go to World Eaters Turn 5. Here we are after the World Eaters movement phase in turn five, and one thing everyone forgets is they are still legionaries. They're still trained in the art of war. So over on this side, both of the javelin speeders have dropped down to move block the Spartan, because your Praetor has ran inside the immobilized Land Raider. Even if I kill the Land Raider in my turn six, I can't kill everything inside, they'll hop out and hold that objective there. Yep. And then, I mean, I telegraphed it. The land radar was coming down before <laughs> your lines. But this way, I can't move any of the models through there to charge and get to the squad. So you should take that objective there. The only other way around is to go all the way around the uh, center of the crossroads. So that was a genius move. And you said you want to line up as many shots as you can into this squad here. This yep. is just a standard tactical squad, so they could fall back off that objective and I don't score it. Yeah. Potentially. You have got one Devastator missile launcher guy. He's remembered he's got the butcher's nails. He has remembered he's got the nails. He ain't shooting anyone. He wants to go charging into this veteran. <laughs> you really, really want to smash him. Veteran on one new death. You get a point for every unit you kill. Yeah. So that's the thing. The Sakaran is only snap firing its stunned. But this Predator down here has got straight shots into the side of that Land Raider. And there is another squad of Tactical Marines that have been chilling in the building over here. They've finally got out and thinking about charging to try and get on that objective yeah. next turn. You actually said off camera that you don't want to try and blow up the Rhino. Because if you blow up the Rhino, you... then in my turn six, I could charge them, get rid of them. Yeah. So you're actually being quite canny careful. over here. I careful. like careful. careful. Yeah, it's the side of you I never knew. <laughs> Where do you want to start the shooting phase? Let's start with the Land Raider into the uh, right, Predator into the side of the Land Raider. It's easy for you to say. It's, it really Four. is. Four. Last cannon shots across the battle grid. And two, only one slams into the side of that Land Raider. And it doesn't wound, but Sunder. And it and doesn't even wound. Okay. One to a one, nine times out of ten. After the Predator, we move to the snap firing Sakaran, and it didn't manage to do any wounds down to this target next to the statue. So now we're on to the Land Raider, and you're splitting fire. Obviously. The guns on this flank are going to try and hit the Land Raider. Yep. And then the guns on the other flank are coming into the tactical marines on that objective over they there. They are. Where are we starting? Let's start with the one on this side. Into the Land Raider. Into the Land Raider. Okay. Threes to hit. Two shots? Yes. No, re no twin link. One of them hits. You need a five. No. With Sunder. Oh, with Sunder. No. no. Okay. And now yeah. into the Tactical Marines. Tactical Marines, so the two. Both miss. And then the one on the turret. With twin twin linked. linked. One of them hits, finally. And it wounds. wounds. And I get a six up. And I make the save. Of course you do. So all the shots from the vehicle so far are just bouncing. 
Then the rhinos fired in to the tactical marines on this objective, forcing two saves. And you do manage to wipe out one of them. Get one. So there's nine remaining, and the javelins are going to direct all their firepower into them as well, and I'm going to shroud. Okie dokie, last cannons. Hits every single time. Two's to wound. Wounds every single time. Six up cover saves as they duck behind those dragon teeth. Yep. Doesn't help. Five up shrouding. Doesn't help. Four get wiped out. And there's still eight heavy bolt shots coming in as well. On threes. And then threes to wound. Uh, see, wounds. I'm not tanking these on the Artificer guy because I want the higher leadership. For the end, yeah. Make the saves. Cool. And that is the end of the shooting phase. This unit on the objective needs to pass a leadership of eight. I pass a leadership of eight. You still got one more turn to hurt them. Yeah. Then round here. A Devastator Marine is going to charge a veteran. Let's go for it. It's only a three inch charge because you're a world eater. Yeah. And he's you make the well charge. G. And uh, he's got three attacks on the charge and he's hitting on fives. No. Nope. And, and he misses. <laughs> okay. Oh, that could have been glorious. We well, do your biker then. He's got two attacks. Bolt pistol, chainsword, fives. He hits both of the times. Force to wound with the revving of the shredding of nope. the chainsword. Oh. Reroll the wound. No. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to cut down that Devastator. Yeah. I'm going to cut him down. my Devastator now. I'm going to cut him down. I hit him twice. I'm going to wound him on fours. And that breaches, that kills, kills him. him. Your Devastator should not have come here. And that, <laughs> <laughs> But it was glorious. It could have been glorious. That's the end of turn five. We're about to go on to turn six. Now, you get a point for everything you kill. I think I've killed a bit more, not too much. But you've got a point for slaying the Warlord. And then these objectives are worth a random number of points at the end of the game in this War of Lies. Okay, so at the end of my movement phase in turn six, I'm on three objectives. This unit of uh, tactical marines, only five remaining, are hugging onto that one. Big unit of tactical marines hugging onto this one at this end of the crossroads. And then over here, I got out of the rhino and I'm all over that one. And... Move blocking is a thing. It is a thing, definitely. So both of my empty rhinos have done handbrake turns and are laying pintle mounted bolt of fire into the world eaters in that ruin there to try to prevent them charging through and clearing me off of this objective. In the middle, well, you've blocked me with the speeders and they've been a problem. They've still got a lot of firepower. So the unit inside the Land Raider has got out with my second in command and they're going to go charging into the speeders. Meanwhile, the uh, Land Raider is going to fire everything at the Sakaran. Yep. While the Devastators over here look on. So let's start there. Land Raider into Spartan Multi-Melter. Hits. Multi-Melter range. Doesn't do anything. Oh, dear. Four non-Twin Link LAS cannons. Three of them hit. And then the Twin Link LAS cannon hits. So four's glance against the Sakaran. Five's pen with Sunder, no cover saves, and that is three penetrating hits. Will it blow up? I'm sure if it does, the explosion won't hurt any of my guys who have stood right next to it. Not even a little bit. It doesn't blow up. It's just a wreck. There's some bolters. I'm not going to fire with them. This squad, I could scream and do stuff at your javelin squad, but they're just going to return fire to me. So I'm not going to do that either. We're not going to fire with anything over here. You get a point for everything you kill. There's a rhino on one wound. So let's put six last cans from my Why Devastator not? squad into them on twos. And then twos glance, threes pen. There's four ones. That's five penetrating hits. No cover save. That one doesn't blow up either. That just gets shot through of holes and melted. We killed a rhino, we killed a Sakara, and that is the end of my shooting phase. There's only one charge, the Palantine Blades, into the speeders, and we're going to overwatch. Four Lance Cannons, point blank range, you can't possibly miss. You missed twice. That's bigging you up there. You killed two of them, two are dead, no cover, no nothing. Then Bolt of Fire, of the heavy variety, threes to hit. And six of them hit, and threes to wound. And five of them wound. Five, two up Artificer saves. One takes a wound, then we charge. Nine inches. 
we end up like this. I've got four fellas left with the strength five Charnable Blades and my Praetor. Yep. And my Praetor will hit them. The speed is on threes. And at strength six, toughness six, will wound on fours. And that causes instant death and kills one of them utterly. <laughs> Even though it's got a chunk of wounds remaining, the Praetor jumps up, leaps. The perfect Empress Children execution style. Yes. He like slams his spear into the guys in the saddle. Yep. Takes them out. He's literally got both of them on one spear. Yeah. <laughs> Stab straight <laughs> through. Out. Those are AP3. So no saves on the other speeder. It's on one wound remaining. Then I hit it with the double-handed charnable blades on threes. And I need fives to, gl uh, fives to get through, but they breach. Okay. Yeah. And that's a dead speeder. And we consolidate straight towards the World Eater's home objective, but not close enough to get it. I'm almost tempting your Praetor now He's, I'm really, really to come flying out. I'm going to charge. Actually, <laughs> having said that, your rule have is you have, to charge. have to charge. So when you get out, you have to charge. Oh, this is going to be fruity as we go into World Eater's turn six. What? New combat. Oh yeah, your biker guy versus my veteran. Go with your biker guy first. I want him to do this. He's a hero from going back in there. Fives to hit. He nope. misses. He doesn't do it. Okay. Three attacks. I hit you twice. Oh no. That's uh, breaching. I kill the biker. I was really... Because I'd forgotten that the bikes can fall back and charge. They can. So I was thinking I was going to fall back and charge over there and just try and kill an extra model. Oh, but... never mind. Uh, anymore he's not you could have I think you have to pass an initiative test at the end of your thing yes end of the fight phase but uh, to be fair I wouldn't have shot a rhino that is a distraction they can't deny yeah but I know your bike could deny yeah I'd have shot it with all the las cannons yes so he will turn around One. hoof his way back towards that objective and now we go into world eaters turn six Right, the World Eaters are getting tactical and I love it. There's going to be some shots from the immobilized Land Raider and this Rhino yep. trying to make these guys fail morale and run away, right? Yep. And then I'm not on that objective. Now, where you're getting really tactical is you can only charge in Horus Heresy stuff you could see. So I've been told. So <laughs> your Praetor has told the remaining tactical squad <laughs> to get out this side of the statue and stay very, very quiet. <laughs> Be very, very and the rhinos reverse backwards, and I can't see any of them now. Excellent. It's like, we need this objective, lads. <laughs> He's smacking them round the head. Stay here. Don't go charging off. <laughs> so you will score that objective. Yeah. Uh, round the other side of the battle grid, however, I've move blocked you with two rhinos, and you can't move within an inch, so you can't move can't through this gap. No, I've got it in my head. I could conga line through that, no. but I can't. You know, you can't move within an inch with your base. But what you can do is try and blow up the rhino with the last predator and then charge, and then charge through. through yeah. If you fail to do that, there's that last pesky rampager with his phalanx blades who was over here. Yeah. And he's now he's got he's got a charge. He's got a charge. Or both. Either one or both. Yeah. So potential to take this objective as well as we go on to the shooting phase. Who's revving an engine outside? I wonder if the camera could pick that up. Las cannons into butt of rhino. Please work. One minute. Am I shrouding? Uh, uh, I'm not shrouding. Yes. No, I'm going to shroud over there on that squad. I want okay. that squad to stay alive. So they all hit. Okay. And every single one pens. You can't, interestingly, see 100% of the rear armor. Okay. But it's dead anyway. Does it blow up? Four times to get a six. Oh, Here we go. We want it, it does blow up. Now, destroys my own men. How far does it blow up? It blows up two inches. It's, it's going to hit your rampager. It wounds him. He's got a three up save or he's insta killed. He's alive. It hits the front of my rhino and that pens it and it blows off the guns on top. <laughs> Excellent. It hits two of your guys and wounds only one of your guys in the tactical squad. Three up. And he gets no. hit by a chunk of shrapnel from the exploding rhino and disappears. Don't take that guy away. He's the closest guy. Take some... Oh, no, it has to be a model in range. Yeah, yeah. Take that one and, away. Well, he that's was the in... sergeant, so that would have made, made meant he'd have made the save on a two-up because that's my artist for... Is it? Yeah. So. Okay, so he's fine then. Yeah? You yeah. sure? He's... Well, on a one, two, three, it hit oh, your yeah. sergeant. It didn't no, hit so your sergeant. It was that guy, yeah. yeah. 
Moving down the line, that Sponsoon on the uh, Land Raider can't shoot anything because you draw a line of sight from the weapon, you parked a Rhino in front of it, yep. which is tactical AF. Yep. But you have got three last cannon shots into this squad here, they're definitely shrouding. Okie dokie. Okay. So one... One twin, twin linked. linked. Twin linked. Twin linked. It hits. This then, Last time he didn't kill anything in this Land two, Raider. The ones. This time he hits twice. Twos to wound. Wounds twice. Six up cover. Five up shroud. He kills two of them. And the unit that disembarked from the rhino has got four bolter shots hitting on threes. Not One like of them that. hits. Wounding on a that. And again, not putting it on the sergeant because otherwise my leadership drops from eight to seven. Yep. And one's okay. Then you've got one twin link, oh, two twin link shots from the bolter on the okay. rhino. Both of them hit. Need None of them wounds. That is the end of your shooting phase. That is the end of the shooting phase. So leadership test on these, leadership eight. If I fail this... Oh, other than what? the squad. You want to shoot your bolt pistols in? I'll definitely pull from the front. Go for it. Um, oh, no, that's a difficult one, isn't it? Oh, oh, I hate when you make my choices. Shoot difficult. the bolt pistols. With the bolt guns? No, because bolt guns are... You can't... Can't car, shoot bolt guns. It's no, got to be pistols. It. It's got to be no, nine pistols it. in. I want to do no, all please, my, fire no, I want to do all my bolt guns and have loads Stop of trying to hit me and hit me! Name right. that movie. That's The Matrix. It okay, the Matrix. so leadership eight over here. I went completely blind. There's I more got Predator in my head. <laughs> Why Predator was saying that? That was my Lawrence Fishburne impression. <laughs> it sounded like Predator. Um... <laughs> eight. Leadership eight. This is a big dice roll, James. Yeah. I don't want you to panic. I'd like them to run away, please. Not That's like a that six. Anyway. They hold. Okay. I do hold that objective. It might be worth zero points. I do hold this objective. The Rampager would be minus two to charge, but Berserk Fury. So it's a six or seven, we think. Not and that's that. a three. He surges forward a couple of inches and fails the charge. Eh. The guy's in the terrain. An eight, it's maybe like an a eight nine. nine. Yeah, it's quite a good one. Do we feel lucky? <gasps> and that's no. a six. And no. that is a fail charge. And this is the very end of the game. So now we're going to have to point up and find out how many things I killed, how yeah. many things you killed in this war of lies, plus one for killing my warlord. Lies. And then we'll roll for these objectives and find out how the way the world ends. Right, double checking, triple checking kill points. Um, I killed 13 things. Yeah. You killed nine things plus warlord is 10. Yeah. So it's 13 points of 10. I'm three points in the lead. It's close. You've so. Three victory, three things to roll for. And I've got three things to roll for. Now. <laughs> on a one, two, they're worth nothing. A uh, three, four, they're worth one point, and a five, six, they're worth three. So if you roll a five, six for your home objective, it's 13, 13. Yeah. And I could get nothing for my objectives in this war of lies. Yeah. Um, who should, I feel like you should roll first. I feel like you should roll first, and then there's glory in my final roll. But uh, then go, go on, I'll roll. I'll roll. A five, six, and it's a draw, potentially. To start with. It's and that's a 5-6, it's 13 points each. Oh no. Oh now it all no. Comes down to you. Can I borrow your dice for rolling? No, Barry? no, hiding the dice. Oh, okay. You'll roll the dice roll pretty hard. On a 1 2, it's still 13 13. <laughs> okay? Come on, 1. Oh. I'm 1 point in the lead. Over here, I am 2 points in the lead. And then this objective down here. I am another two, uh, no, one, two, I'm three points in the lead. Three points in the three lead. Points in the lead. Game, 16 mate. points to 13. That's why I love Horus Good Heresy. Because regardless of what happens on the battle grid, it always comes down. And literally there, always comes if down we'd have got that charge in, like, the we'd have been the other way. We Actually, yeah, because then I'd have been two points up. Yeah. And then if you'd have taken that one off of me, yeah. roll another D3. I, I want to find also, out. I might have killed another unit. You probably would have. This rampager. guy with the sweeping and yeah, the advancing, yeah. you probably would have. So, so if it was another D3, and there's and you, three. You'd have won. So that you'd literally, if we'd have made a charge or two, yeah. and yeah. that happened, that's it, it. Well, even if you hadn't wiped the squad. Yeah, we'd have outnumbered. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you would have wiped the squad because that rampage is like <laughs> five attacks top. on the charge, yeah. wounding on four, and it's just a tactical squad. Yeah. OMG so close. came down to just those charges there. In the end, the battle 
at the crossroads, just one click away from the presenter's palace, was a victory for the traitors, of course it was. And this is not the way Isfahan 3 ends. So as ever, a big shout out to Urbanmats.com for the battle mat and a massive shout out from a fella called James, who is all of MarchofWinners.co.uk. I see you by the t-shirt there. You must know this James fella. You've I've heard him around. He's a nice guy. He's all right. Uh, who has provided me with all the bases that my Empress children are on and all the lovely scenery that you see in front of you here. In fact, me and you are doing an event. We are doing an event. On the 1st of October. Yes. Uh, how do they get tickets? They're on my website. Um, go to marchwar.co.uk and they're in the event section. It's the 1st of October. I think we're doing three. It's a one day event. Yeah. A chance to meet me, a chance to meet James. Um, there's going to be a raffle, there's going to be giveaways. But the main thing is we're going to give away a full winter's table that I will set up with the rocks and everything with your terrain with on. My terrain and everything. Hence, <laughs> March of Winners. It's like a couple of thousand pounds worth of terrain will be on that yeah, table. It's That's going to be, be a, serious prize. a serious prize. I want to do a battle report when you get it all done mm -hmm. with the terrain on the table to show Definitely. people. Well, I think as soon as we've got 10th out, yes. then we'll get down. I'll bring you all of the terrain and things and we'll set up a full table with right. all the terrain. We'll play a game. It might be Heresy or it might be 10th. <laughs> or it No, might we'll, be play we'll play a bit yeah, of 10th. We'll play a bit of 10th. So, yeah, it'll be... A uh, one day event, a fun tournament. There's not a tournament, actually. It's fun I haven't really mm -hmm. figured out whether I'm going to give away the main prize to the first placed player yet. The first placed player who scores the most points will probably get something nice, but I'll probably give something as equally nice to the person who got the, the wooden spoon. Or, yeah. yeah, and then I might go around and, yeah, because it is one hell of a prize. So if you want to come and meet me, say hello. Play three 1,000 point incursion games at Element Games in Manchester. Shout out to Element Games in Manchester as well. Then uh, get yourself a ticket at the marchofwar.co.uk website. I'm really looking forward to that I'm one. I'm really looking forward to it. We're about 50% sold out already. Are we already? Nobody, nobody knew what we're doing. I've barely had mentioned it. Yeah. Because I haven't <laughs> done the full advert yet because I yeah. haven't had the table yet we're to pushed. show the things. No, exactly. Think. Yeah, and okay. we've not had the rules to know what we're doing or no. how we're playing or no. what we're going to do. So. <laughs> In the meantime, we do hope you enjoyed that Horus Heresy Battle Report. I'm loving this edition of Horus Heresy. Um, yeah, uh, uh, say goodbye. Bye.